Better than your next it's, a lot of, it's a lot of bladder <laughs> scat going. You can oh, sit in a conversation. Hey, check this out, big. Oh, Google this. Check this out, big dog. It's a lot of bladder scat going on. I'm hanging this shit out. I'm hanging this fucking phone call up. Bitch, are you arguing with your bitch? Show me your name with some bladder scat, bitch. What are you talking about? Hey, hey, hey. Yo. Man, wild bladder. You just text me, and all I read was wild bladder Skype. That's all, bitch. Word. Yo, I'm, I'm fucking with that word. Bladder Skype, my nigga. I'm telling you, that's oh, a real shit. I'm really shit. fucking with that word. Yeah, yo, I'm going to Google it. I'm going to listen. Nigga, that's the that's, word of the that, most. That, I'm Googling it just so y'all don't know. Yeah. Just so y'all don't think that word, though. 2023, yo, here we come, nigga. I'm about to use that shit in every setting I can. Yo, Ronnie, all I'm hearing is a bunch of Bladder Skype. <laughs> Listen, man. Bladder Skype, listen. Bladder Skype, listen. A person who talks to a great length without making much sex. Bladder Skype. Yo, we fuck with that word, yo. We fuck with it. Yo, I'm hitting the wife with that shit as soon as I get home, yo. Bladder Skype. Like, yo, all I keep seeing in these text messages is just Bladder Skype. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Yo, I'm trying to get to the point you over here. Bladder Skype. Oh, my God, bro. <laughs> Politicians that get away with all funniest. time with obscurient. Uh, oh, so sorry, oh, obscurient my goodness, bladder skype. Bladder skype. Oh my god. You goodness, niggas out here bladder skype, yeah, man. Stop doing more. that. That word is amazing, yo. Word. That word is amazing. Bladder skype. Word. Skype is hard, yo. Hey, yeah, nah, Bladder Skype, man. Hey, yo, no bullshit, nigga. Your new name is Webster, nigga. Hey. Oh, yeah. hey. That shit was amazing. Bladder no Skype, bullshit. nigga. Don't be out amazing. here Bladder Skyping, <laughs> people. Bro. Yo, man. Tell, that was good, bro. Tell the world. Bro. Yeah, Skype. man. That was amazing. But yeah, Put man. that word in your life, man. So, yeah. yo, how was y'all uh, Christmas, man? Everything was all right, y'all? Today we don't have Skype. <laughs> you hey, got that man. app where it gives you all the words, huh? Man. I got that yeah. shit too. I love that app. Word. Word. That shit too. Word. Word. That shit word, too. Of word of the day. We're going to get that. Word of the day. Bladder Sky. Don't, don't be say, out here doing that, that neither, y'all. I can't. I can't. Yo. Yo. Get the fuck up with your bladder Sky. <laughs> I can't wait to go home with you. Oh, my God. I can't wait to go home with you. I can't wait to go home with you. What? What did you say? Google it. Google it. The fuck you just called me? Bladder Sky. This is the fuck that's coming out your mouth right now. I hear a bunch of bladder skype. That's all, yeah, and it's bladder proper bladder word too. It's a no, proper word. Problem, you ain't even bro. disrespecting nobody. You no, just saying what it is. <laughs> disrespecting nobody. You ain't disrespecting nobody. You just yo, listen. Yo, you I hear you. Learning somebody. I hear you. you. It's just a bunch of bladder skype. You know skype. what's crazy though? If you say that shit to somebody though, they gonna think you disrespecting them Facts. because they don't know you, you, th you. know, black people don't go for shit like that. It's gonna be you like, can't just say some words. Like, you ain't never heard before. Do low key sound like like a German slur. I'm like, what? What you call me? Google it, my nigga. Google it. Do low key sound like a German slur. Then they gonna see the Then they gonna see the definition. Crazy shit. They're gonna see the definition. The person that says a bunch of shit without making sense, they're gonna be like, what? You can't say that shit to somebody you know in the hood, though. You can't. They're gonna hit you with the Kevin Hart shit. See, see, you saying too many big ass words. I'm gonna take them as different. Yo, word. He said, you saying too a lot of big words. I'm gonna take them. Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. Take them as a lot of bladder skype coming out that mouth. A lot of bladder skype coming out your mouth, nigga. What you mean? Hey, yo. this shit got me crying. Hey, listen, man. Oh, for all y'all out there, I'm a, oh, that's my camera, camera right there. Camera. For all y'all out there, do not be bladder skating. <laughs> Tell the people. Word, the skating. Facts. They know to do skating too. Bladder Don't be bladder skating, skating man, because y'all niggas be out there just saying shit. Just saying, especially with the internet. It especially makes bitches, the internet bitches, makes you easy bladder to bladder skate. <laughs> say a bunch of words that don't make no nothing. sense. Yeah, bunch of nothing. Yeah. Word. Yeah, a whole bunch of facts, nothing. Though, That's facts. gonna be the craziest shit. Yeah, <laughs> word. The man. internet, you know what I'm saying? Make that it easy. Shit easy like for y'all to blather sky, and I don't like that, man. That shit was wild. <laughs> Yeah, that's a phenomenal word. Man. Yeah, man. Nah, Blather is, Skype, man. man. Using that shit for Absolutely, everything, bro. As soon as you're fighting with white people. That's just the word of the show. You're fighting with white people, bro. I don't hear nothing but a bunch of Blather Skype right now. The Blather Skype. Yeah, Blather Skype. He said, change the name of the pod to Blather Skype. We just up here, Blather Skype, to y'all. Oh, you know what I mean? Word. Yo, let's kick this shit off, though, man. Word. Yo, yeah, man. I go by the name of Peasy, and I'm nice. This is the Diamond Throw Podcast, and if you followed us from previous shows before, it's just been me and my man rocking out for some episodes. Yep. But now we got two new co-hosts, co part group. of the team, part of the squad, and we're going to let them introduce themselves. My name's Chops. 
Yeah, my name is XL, man, you know. Chops was real quiet. My name is Chops. Chops. Nah, Chops. Chops. I'm playing for something hey, else. I'm just saying, man. Like, <laughs> the you want me to laugh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, I'm trying not to blather this guy. Nah, nah, he's trying you know, not to blather this guy. He keeping it. Like, nah, y'all fuck want with, me to do the extra shit? Oh, fuck, yeah, nah, give him like, some extra shit, Chops. Give him some extra shit, my guy. Hey, yo, we going to be killing dudes up on this show with that My name's Chops, you know. Give him some extra shit. Let him know. Let him know who you is, what you do. Yeah. 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 We gonna up with that. Hey yeah. yo, man. My name's Chops yeah, from man. Brockton. You already know what time it is, man. Chopper, Just happy to be here, man. You know, bring a little energy, man, and and, and some good content, the, man. Where can they find you on the gram? Just you know, shout it out real quick. Man, Chopper 038, man. Uh, my G. Right. You already know. And if y'all don't know, mm-hmm. you're gonna know about the homie over here. XL, you already know XL. XL, you know what I'm saying? If you watch Battle Rap, you see me on all of these joints fucking shit up. But now I'm here with my bo- my homies. Yes, sir. We podcasting. We no talk. We gonna, we gonna talking shit. No blather skiting. No Never no blather skiting. <laughs> but we about to talk a lot of shit to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, shout out to Nice and Peasy for for um, deciding to bring me on. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel like when I did this show, it was pretty much an easy dialogue. I know Peasy forever, so. We just gonna turn it up. Yes, sir. No blather sky on this bitch, you heard? No blather sky on this bitch. Salute, salute. So how was your holiday though? No bullshit. It was cool. It was cool. It was cool. Yeah, it was cool. It was cool. It was decent. You know what I'm saying? I worked. I grinded. What you got? What you got for for? What I get for? I got some socks. That the typical dad gifts. I got socks. Got this little necklace right here. This little. uh you know what I'm saying? A little necklace and I got um I got a wallet. You know what I'm saying? You know, I got typical dad gifts. Oh, it's some blather skating bullshit. Like, <laughs> typical dad typical, gifts, man. Some blather skating hey, bullshit. What's the typical dad gifts like though? Socks. Socks. I definitely got Because I feel socks. like this is about to be a relatable conversation. <laughs> Can I say something? I was appreciative of my socks. I'm, nah, a, I like I'm my a sock guy. You know Word. Yeah. See, nah. I ain't got no socks. I'm but I got guy. a wallet. You know what I'm saying? I Shout out to socks. my kids mm-hmm. for getting me a wallet. I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? I got right. an iPad and I got some AirPod on. Um, what's some shit? The AirPod Pro joints. Fire. The okay. Apple joints? The Apple joints, yeah. Oh, you kidding. Oh, all right. Because you know they got them cheap joints that be looking like... No, nah, you my kids... is real. Your dude. kids held you down. Yo, no, this was my kids. This was wifey. My kids oh, wifey held shit. you down. She didn't get you the joints from Marshall. You know what I got for my kids? Thanks, Dad, for the gifts. Make this. Oh, ah, man. damn. <laughs> no, Tired of you punk motherfuckers. Hey, yo. Nah, <laughs> seriously, though, right? Like... Love my kids. Is, is it just me or does it seem like... Like I don't know, like just do, get to do, it. Do guys <laughs> like do 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 the guys get the short end of the stick on Always. Christmas? On every holiday. It ain't Christmas, it's every holiday. Yeah, every, it's holiday, every holiday, like Bro, some of the, there was a list for the top twenty some holidays. I think Father's Day was like number twenty six. Yo, that's just wild, bro. Columbus like, Day is before Father's I Day. Say, like, what the fuck takes precedent you know over what Father's what Day? Bro? Yo, what and the crazy day or some <laughs> shit? every day. And the crazy shit about Father's Day is they'll get you a gift. Steak and BJ, BJ Day is before Father's Day. They get man. you no a gift that benefits them. They get you some shit like a drill so you can fix some shit in the house <laughs> and shit like that. Man, man. Just for the grill so you can be the out there flipping burgers mean? for the family. A grill like so that. you can flip burgers for everybody. Like man, I just, shit. And the crazy thing about us men. We don't even be wanting gifts. We just want a quiet day. That's it. Yo, the worst shit is to go I ain't out for Father's Day dinner, gifts. right? And you fit the bill. I do. I, I want. You ever I, shit? <laughs> Say what? Go out for Father's Day dinner with your family. and You fit the bill. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I've done that. Fuck my Yeah, I've done that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's, that's you know how it is. Like, I didn't do that shit on my birthday. Exactly, Father's Day like it, it it is Mother's Day. You know what I'm that's saying? That's a fact. It's 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 different. But that's what I'm saying. Like, why, why the fuck? Why the fuck we get the short and the stick though? I don't understand that. I can't speak. Look. I know a lot of motherfuckers can relate to that, but right now, speaking, I can't relate to it because I ain't going to hold you. My, my shorty, she, she blessed me Father's Day, yeah, my birthday, Christmas. Mm-hmm. Like, you ain't even in this conversation. Right. She does, though. She I'm does. She, I ain't going to hold you. She does. She's the only female that ever did it. No, no I ain't going to hold you. My, my, my shorty holds me down, too. I'm talking mm-hmm. about my kids, though, the people that actually, like, you know, <laughs> I brought into this world. <laughs> he said that benefit other people, from not, other came people out, they came out. They came out my nuts before they came out their mother. You Facts. know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> Yo, peace. Hey, yeah, nah, that's right. Cool. Oh, hey, Pete. Hey, cool, hey, Pete. Listen, I ain't got little kids that's, like, two, three years old. Right. My oldest daughter is 22. I got a 20-year-old. These oh, yeah. motherfuckers oh, yeah. is oh, working. Yeah. yeah, she got to come correct. Yeah, like, nah, you gotta come. Yeah. You gotta you know come correct. Absolutely. Hold your dad down, man. Absolutely. And they got you some socks. 
Oh, I ain't get shit from the kids. That's what I'm trying to tell you, fam. Hey, <laughs> make it. Listen, all, you and we simple. All you I got to FaceTime do, in the morning. Thanks for the cash app and the gifts, Dad. Listen, make it. Damn. Damn. You laid up with your boyfriend and shit. What's with that nigga get? Damn, beloved. What's make it dad yeah. his favorite meal. Yo, this nigga just went laughing. My fault. My boy, I'll be blacking out. Nah, that's nah, okay. What's the, make what's the it, word of the day? Make Blab- it. Blab- Blab- Skype. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> make your dad his favorite meal. You know what I'm saying? Do it's very do simple. Shit. Man, we like food. I like food. Just make your favorite meal. And sometimes oh, I have to remind them. I'll be like, you wouldn't be here if, if it wasn't for me. You know, right. these smart ass punk ass kids say nowadays, well, I ain't asked to come here. You motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Nah, like, right. yo, nah, but I just, like, I just want some, I just want thought to be put into my gifts right. the way that I put thought into their oh, gifts. Pay from who, though? Nah, but sometimes from, the problem it matters is. matters who it comes from, because, like, I. Like the, the significant others, like the wifeys, they usually come through for the most part. They try, they attempt. But it's the children. Nah, not, not necessarily. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the wifeys don't always yeah, really. I'm about to say, listen, listen, the, the wifeys don't always really. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I want, I want, I want to talk be about respect my name for my children. I ain't go. Listen, Let's talk about the nice. don't always do it, though, because I feel like what Chops is getting at is men, they don't, they don't really. Like, we want certain shit, or if we do want certain shit, we don't. We don't get nothing that we want. Right. And it's like, we don't even really get asked what we want. You yeah. understand what I'm saying? And then when we do get right. shit, it'd be some, it'd be some, you know, thank you. The thought does count. I appreciate it. But if I told you, you know, I really don't want that shit or that's not really what I wanted, mm-hmm. you know, then you the bad guy or right. it may be perceived as, you know, say if it's your significant other, right? Mm-hmm. It may come off as, oh, what? What I get you ain't good enough. So right. you, it's you stuck between a rock and a hard place. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because shit. Yeah, yeah, that's a fact. Because you don't know how to you don't you see mm-hmm. what I'm saying though? Because you don't want you don't want to offend your wife. Let's mm-hmm. say we're talking about the wife. You don't want to mm-hmm. offend your wife, but at the same time, mm-hmm. you want to be able to be like, you know, I want something that I want for the holidays. You know what right. I'm saying? Like I go out my way to get you shit that I know you want. Yo, my way, what up, babe? What you mm-hmm. want? Oh, I was mm-hmm. like, I like this Fendi bag. or I like this Prada bag. or I right. like these, Facts. you know what I mean? So you yeah. go out your way, whether you have it or you don't have it. A lot of men go out their way to get it for women, Facts. even though we don't have it. Facts. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and a lot of time in return, truth be told, a lot of people, and, and, and you know, y'all just don't, oh, yeah. a lot of women too, women too, though. Y'all don't really get your man what he wants. Yeah, y'all. You don't get him what he wants. To pick, yeah, y'all oh, get him what y'all. Bags. Yeah, y'all get him what y'all think <laughs> he <laughs> wants. And that's the difference. Yeah. And like what y'all think he wants and what he's telling you he wants. It's the same thing. Like, But that's the thing. Do y'all give y'all shorties? An idea or a hit, what y'all want? I do. Yeah, Sometimes, I yeah. I blatantly say what the fuck yeah, I want. me too. I put you like this. Get you some other shit. Listen, up. bro. Yo, give me these cigars. The box of them, they cost two fifty. That's what I want. Mm. I put you like this. Like even for me, like this Christmas, there's a producer I wanted to work with. So I hit son up. I say, yo, how much for a project with you? This much. So I tell shorty, yo. I need you. Here's what I want for Christmas. I need you to go half with me on this project. That's pretty shit. Oh, that's and that's it. She did it, but she did some extra shit on top of that. But she did it. But here's the thing: like, there's sometimes where I've I've encountered where I'll tell somebody, "Yo, I want this." Like, oh, you know, I'm gonna get you what I think you want. Like, yeah. nah, I want I this. Told like, you what I want. Like, yeah. like as men, we simple. Like, I like my mom said this shit. To me, to she was telling this to wifey one day. She's like, "Men are simple. If a man tell you he wants steak and rice every night, you fucking want steak and rice. If you cook him tacos, he's gonna take it because we don't want to offend you. But that ain't do shit for him. That nigga, he wants steak and and rice rice, from Monday to Sunday. I'm trying to tell you, and that's it. Tell you, it might be boring for you, but but that's what he wants. That's what we need. You know why, right? Because with women." When you ask them what they want, like you got to really pay attention to what their answer is, mm-hmm. how they answer. Right. And then you got to really think if that's really what the what fuck they wants. want. Because when they answer, their answer ain't really what they really fucking mean all the time. Right. You got to be like a, a prolific mind reader mm-hmm. when, when, when dealing with women. So, right. say, Charles, women are indecisive like a motherfucker. Oh, indecisive that's like a motherfucker. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, yeah this is why crazy, what this bro. is why what you what do you want to eat is a topic mm-hmm. because they're just so for me like when it comes to me getting gifts for my lady or whatever it's practical shit. So if I see you all year, I need this. I need this. Or you struggling with certain shit, I'll just grab it. Like for instance, wifey she moved here to be, you know what I'm saying? So she got a piano. So she been, yo, I want to play with my, I want to play my piano. I want to play my piano. Oh, she got a piano? Yeah, so she's like, because she do music. She does music, but she mm-hmm. does like Erica Badu, soul, neo soul type music. Oh, that's she's like, I want to play my joint. I want to play my joint. So I'm yeah, like, I some love Jones shit. so I'm like, all right. Mm-hmm. Facts. <laughs> so in my mind, I'm like, all right. Now, when she moved, she left her piano stand. So in my brain, I'm like, yo. Go to the store, grab a piano stand and a bench so she could play her shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Shit like that. Like, a lot of times with us men, if you be thoughtful with the gift, it's over. Like, Mm -hmm. because we don't even know how to react to that shit. I'm going to keep it real. Like, if if wifey gets you something that you know you need it and you ain't really say that you need it, but she saw you that you needed it. Like, even with me, I got a wallet. Granted, a wallet is small, but my wallet looked like motherfucking tattered, nigga. That shit was my mm-hmm. dog done chewed on it, all yeah, type yeah, of shit yeah, that happened to my wallet. My shit looked like fucking Vietnam vet, nigga. Shit, like my wallet was went through hell shit. type shit. Shorty came like, yo, I'll grab you a new wallet. Yeah, my shorty got me a wallet. Boom. Um last I don't know when she she got me. And she got me a Gucci wallet. Yeah. yeah. Gucci wallet it was for it's just simple shit, shit like that that, that shows like you paid yeah. attention. Well, I got the Gucci yeah. car like my, my, my shorty, every, whether it's Father's Day, birthday, or Christmas, she goes and gets me some type of designer or right. something. She, mm-hmm. she go, you know what I mean? It, it, that's just. Man, that's know. real. She reciprocates because that's what I do for her. You know yeah. What I mean? And then there's other times where it could be just. Valentine's Day, you know, right? And, and I'm 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 taking us on vacation or Mother's Day, right? You know, I got a um, I got a, a nice Rolex, you know what I mean? But here's like, also the so thing, she, though, she don't have as much money as me. But when it's time for her to return or, or reciprocate during a birthday or she something tries, like she that, she does. Well, yeah, she, she, put, she does. You know what I mean? I appreciate it because kid. there's a lot of dudes out there I know who who've been with girls for a while. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that don't and, do and, nothing. And I can't say that I ever recall like their girl doing shit like that for right. them, you know what I mean but I know that a lot of people I know be fucking up bags on a girl right. you know what I'm saying and and it's it I think it is a little I think it's a little fucked up if you fucking up a bag on your girl and, and she can't go out ever she never goes out and fucks up a bag on you at all at any right. time it's not like that she can't that's a fact nah, but I'm saying even if they, they feel like they can't not to. but even if they feel like they can't yeah. right Chap, no, no, what Chaps, we say earlier Chaps want to let it out Chaps go ahead man no but listen listen what's what I'm saying you are the frustrations my brother nah so look look like this is crazy so like the nigga Envy right I'm I'm DJ Envy right yeah so like he's in a different tax bracket obviously you know what I'm saying but. The nigga does 12 days of Christmas mm-hmm. for his wife. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think that shit's fire. I, it I is fire. During the Yo, holidays, it's fire. Yeah, yeah, he be trying to turn yeah. up. Go ahead. But, NBA but like, sick. but it's, but it's, see, but he's able to do that. So it's dope. But it's really the thought behind it. Like he's willing to go above and beyond mm-hmm. because he knows that it's going to make his woman happy. Facts. And for the most part, 99% of men, that's what the fuck we do. Mm-hmm. We go above and beyond. Like, it doesn't have to be Christmas. It doesn't have to be birthdays, whatever. Like, we just yeah. buy gifts because sometimes. Right. Because, because we know mm-hmm. that this is something, oh, I seen this shit. I thought you might like it or, uh-huh. I, you know, you mentioned it or whatever. So mm-hmm. I made sure that I got you it or whatever. Like, but, like, for us, like. You don't get that. Yeah, like, guys, guys really don't get that. Like, it's like, for, like, we're required to stay in tune with women, their thoughts, mm-hmm. um, um, their wants. Like, then like I said, jump. mind reading shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're required because if we don't pay attention, it's like, oh, you don't even be paying attention to me, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Right. But I just don't feel like that shit be reciprocated. Like, women... On average. Yeah, on average. Because like, there are women out there that definitely take... Oh, yeah, that's absolutely. Spoiling absolutely. some men. Because I know there's going to be a female watching this right now. And she completely disagreeing. But you're only disagreeing because you're the minority. You're the right. type of woman that spoils a man. That really, you know, like you really spoil him. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like most women, y'all, y- y'all don't do that. It's not that y'all don't love us as hard. You just don't do that. You yeah, know what I'm and you I think that, that um, 
to piggyback on what you're saying, like chops and knife, I think a lot of times women don't real. Sometimes some of them, like we don't have feelings. You know what I mean? Like we men, like so. A lot of times we they socialize that way. Like we're supposed to just do the grunt work. Like a lot of times we don't want. A lot of times as a man, here's when I'm good. Wifey good. My kids is good. They can open up whatever the fuck they want. They don't need nothing. But I'm straight. Absolutely. After that, I don't really. That's absolutely. enough gratification, right? I'm absolutely. good. But now, if you grab me some, right. That's extra gratification on top of the gratification that Absolutely. I already have because y'all are good. But like, at the same time, if you grab me something, at least at least it it grab me something that I want though. Facts. Yeah, don't don't just grab me just to grab me. Yeah, like look, I'm good. 1, like I appreciate what you get me, but I would for, it would be a lot more yeah, appreciated because, <laughs> if like it was something that I actually wanted. You understand what I'm Absolutely. saying? Like yeah. I may have said, you know, um, damn, I, I like you know we all from. We yeah. all from a certain era. You know, them Avarexes was popping at some right. time, right? So I always wanted, I had AVs growing up, but I never had the white AV that Nas had in Belly. Facts. And, and I seen that it came out last year again. Sax had it. Mm -hmm. AV, the Avarex website had it, but it was all sold out. But I've been saying, like, you know, I want this shit. And I could buy the shit, you know what I mean? But I was kind of hinting to my shorty. And it's like, if I'm telling you I want that, right? don't go get me... A different. If you're gonna get me a jacket and you're willing to spend twelve hundred on, on a jacket, nah, she didn't because it was sold out. Oh. But what I'm saying is she tried. But what I'm saying is if you if if you go get me, say the jacket was twelve, I think it was like twelve hundred or something like that. Mm -hmm. If you're gonna go spend twelve hundred on a leather jacket, then make sure it's that one. Right. If it's not, then you know what I mean. Then you know, give me something different. You know, yeah, what don't I'm saying? give me something mm -hmm. similar. Don't give me something. It's, yeah, I, I didn't want that. Yeah, right. I didn't want that. And 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 am I am I am I the bad guy because you got me something that. I might not wear, and I, I honestly told you, look, babe, you know what I'm saying? It's cool you, but I'll probably never wear this. Right. And then you got to, like we said, it goes back to the, you got to worry about the interpretation of it. Oh, so what I got you ain't good enough, or you don't mm. want that. So then a lot of us just don't say shit. We just don't say shit. We just, mm. oh, all right, yeah, cool. And then, you know, we might put it in a closet and never wear the shit. So Facts. That's like, that, that's what's weird to me though, right? Mm. Because it's like, yo, you'd rather I'd have something that I'd never wear. Like I'm never like I'm never putting that sweater on. Like I'm never putting that sweatsuit on or whatever the fuck or I'm I'm not gonna wear that shit. So you'd rather I accept this shit with a smile and say, Thank you, babe. Yeah. Yeah, because it's not for you at that point, it's for her. So yeah, it's yeah. Yeah. gratification. Yeah. Now listen. Right? You know what I'm saying? And 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 put it in the closet Facts. and never wear that shit. Or would you rather me tell you, like, yo, look, I ain't gonna wear this shit. Right. Why don't we take this shit back and get something that I'm actually gonna motherfucking wear that or something? Yeah, See, no, listen, that, but that's what I'm saying. Like, why does it have to be a fight? fight? Because like, now, chops. Here's what here's what I learned. I read a book. Here's what I learned. I read a book. Read here's a book. what I learned. <laughs> it's called The Way of the Superior oh, Man nice by David Dieter. Excel, it's nice. called The Way of the Superior Man. If you ever Google it, whatever the fuck you gotta do, pick it up. Women deal with momentary shit. Fact though. So you can see that though. So that makes total sense. Perfect example. Your track record could be one thousand. A hundred out of a hundred times you came through. The one time you didn't come through, they're gonna treat it like you never came, came through. through. Oh boy. Why? Oh boy. Because they're momentary. Mm -hmm. Right? Women think momentary because they're emotional creatures. So mm -hmm. how they feel in, the in moment. that moment. In that moment is how they matters. feel. Like when they talk to you, this like clip. this is a clip. Hold on, even if a shorty say I'm gonna leave you, this is a clip that right don't here. mean she's gonna leave you right now. That don't mean she's gonna leave you in life. She means right now mm -hmm. in this fucking thirty seconds, you made me feel like I want to leave you, so I'm gonna leave you, nigga. Mm -hmm. Cause they're momentary creatures, bro. Mm -hmm. They they so nine times if you can shift how they feel in the moment, like let's say you shorty mad. <laughs> If you can pick her up, spin her on your shoulder, and do some dumb shit and make her laugh, she'll forget that she fucking mad at you. Yo, you know nah, what's crazy? True. Yo, this is like a trend right now on IG. That's a fact. Right? 
Yo, like, like they be like the, the chick be mad and she stopped pouting, and you see the dudes like, no, nah, no, nah, baby, don't do that, don't. Do that. And you pick her up, Nigga. and then all of a sudden it's instant gratification. And Listen, let me tell you something. It's like it's like whatever they was mad. I'm gonna tell you this, chops. In the book I read, I in the book I read, dead ass. It says. Whenever there's a problem with your woman, 98% of the time, assume that she feels unloved mm. and just love her. No, but 98% of the time, that shit is what it is. But yeah, hold on. I love her. Do some dumb shit. Hug her. Mm-hmm. Pick her up. Pick her do up. whatever, right? Pitch and then when she feels unloved, <laughs> then once you get that part out of the way, whatever the fuck her issue is, she'll be able to explain it to you normally. Yeah. So basically, you just got to keep fucking her mind. Because no, because women need to constantly be reminded yeah. that <laughs> they're loved. Did you listen? That's, really That's a fact. No, you you fucking the mind. It's really fucking the mind. It's just like you know. Well, you kind of yeah. Bro, you're fucking the mind yeah, because look, I'm gonna tell you right now, right? What he's saying, you kind of giving her the gratification that you need. Right. She wants. But, but what she I'm wants. saying, but, 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 the, 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 that she's earning for. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Right. Uh, yeah. So check this out. Right. So, no matter what you do to her in that moment, right, to make her feel better. It doesn't change how you feel about her. Facts. You love her regardless, right? right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you be picking her up, like, oh, don't yeah. cry oh. in your head, you fucking bitch. So you're fucking her mind. <laughs> like, yeah, That's what you're doing in that moment. You're fucking her mind because yeah. it's what she needs at that point in time. Right. Mm-hmm. Your love level doesn't go up or down. Right. You're nah, giving her what she you know. needs in that moment, so you're you fucking her mind. You, gotcha. love her, you know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Gotcha. Yes, sir. You love her. That's what it boils down to. I mean, you, nah. Yeah, speaking just, of love, no, it's, yeah. I was gonna say, speaking of love, speaking of love, speaking of men and women, love can have you out here looking at twenty two years in jail. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Great. Good segue. After shooting a bitch in the foot, I gotta pee real After quick. Shooting bitches I gotta, in the foot. I gotta hold on. I'm on some Harlem night shit. <laughs> on some real Harlem oh, night shit. shit. Oh shit! And we all see Harlem night. Sometimes some of you bitches need to get shot in the foot. Absolutely. <laughs> nah, bitch. <be> <laughs> You gonna yo, get us listen, listen, listen. Yeah, yeah. We ain't promote violence. We are not promote violence. We are not promote violence. Out here, Rude, that's a clip. <laughs> Save that. Yeah. Make sure my face is bright and light on that motherfucker. I'm just playing. But no. y'all, what y'all think about this Megan Tory shit, man? Me personally, I wasn't too invested in it. Um, I really, I don't really get involved in. I, I looked at it like loving hip hop type shit. It, yeah. it's, that's the type of yeah. entertainment that yeah. certain people enjoy. I don't knock anybody that enjoys that type of shit. It's just really not for me. Mm-hmm. So when it first came out, all the way up until he got found guilty, I really didn't pay too much mind to it. It was I heard the shit about a lot of people saying Meg was lying, you know, um, shit like that. So I mean, I didn't. And then once we started kind of talking about it. I started researching a little bit more in depth and I, uh, I mean, there's a lot with that. There's a lot with that case right now, bro. It's not as, I don't know, like from what I read, from what I read, you got to understand what the DA had to prove, right? Because he was charged with three, what was he, what was he charged? It was assault so, with an, a, a, a semi-automatic semi weapon, weapon um, and, uh, carrying a firearm. Yeah, firearm. carrying a, and, and recklessly then, firing and, a and gun. Recklessly firing, firearm. Firearm. Yeah, yeah. And, and recklessly firing a, mm-hmm. a gun, right? Mm-hmm. Right. So I know that the main one was the assault with the semi-automatic weapon, right? Oh, I got dropped though. And yeah. No, it didn't. He got found guilty for all that. Nah, he got guilty on all three. Facts. Nah, 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 he got guilty, oh, really? nah, nah, got guilty on all three. So, so, I thought they were just hitting him with the unregistered gun. Nah, 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 nah he got. Nah, 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 nah shit got crazy. Shit got crazy. So what I'm saying is like because I've been through, I've been through the courts. I mean, I know other people have too. Mm-hmm. I started saying, yo, I want to, I want to understand this shit from a legal perspective, right? It's not about he says, she says, shit. Yeah, that's part of it. But then it's like you got to understand what. What elements did the DA have to prove in order to get a legal, justifiable verdict? You understand what I'm saying? Because they mm-hmm. got a guilty verdict. So mm-hmm. I started researching, like, what would it, what, what did they have to prove? You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So on the assault with the automatic weapon under California law, it had to be something with along the lines of you had a gun, you had to point it at somebody or mm-hmm. use the gun in a way where it harms somebody, but it also includes intentions. You had to have the intention of harming this person with that gun. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So when I started 
How reading. How did they find that tip, though? That's what I was trying to say. That's what we're going to get to. When I started reading the, the research and the trial and what was said and shit, from what I see, conveniently, this is how the DA plays shit. They smart, bro. Mm-hmm. They, they, they... And it's crazy because if I was, if I was, um, I don't know if I was, if I was Tory's, see, Tory's lawyer couldn't really ask this question, but the DA was slick enough not to ask Tory's the question, trash, right? Bro. But this is what I'm saying, though. Look, the, the DA never asked Meg. All Meg said is, yo, he started shooting the gun at my feet saying dance, bitch, and all of that, right? The, the person that testified saying that witness, he said he never heard him saying dance, bitch. He said... He saw the other girl mm-hmm. when he thought was the gun. And then he said he saw her more gunshots and it looked like Tori had the gun. So that was conflicting. But what I'm saying is like the DA was slick enough not to ask Meg, do you think he intentionally shot you? You understand what I'm True. saying? It should have been, lo- it it been, been a his, valid question. His True. lawyer should have asked that question though. Nah, because then it places, nah, because their defense was he wasn't, he wasn't busting the gun at all. He, their defense was the bitch Kelsey Nicole, excuse me, I don't even call it bitch. The the the, the friend yeah, Kelsey Nicole was the one that was shooting. They, yeah, that was their defense. Right. He wasn't shooting that gun at all. So if they ask that, it in, it puts him as guilty on a couple different charges, like recklessly firing the gun. If you ask, if you say that, then you already admitting that he firing the gun. So they can't mm-hmm. do that. Mm-hmm. But what I'm saying is, if you gotta pay attention to shit like that with the DA, that's how they they, they maneuver. Yeah, right? facts. Now they left that up to the they left that up to the jury to decide. Mm-hmm. Right, but that should have been a straightforward question. Facts. And they knew they should have asked that question, but they didn't. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So what? Back to what it is. In, in the elements to prove that specific charge was intentions was one of it. And from what I saw, there was nothing that showed that he intentionally meant to shoot her in the foot. She said he was shooting off the gun, basically shooting at her feet, saying "dance" like we've seen in, in movies yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, Only one other movie. You know what I mean? Harlem Knights. Harlem Knights. Nah, but he he really shot her in the foot though. He was like, shout out to Quick. Right. Shout out to Quick. 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 (laughs) But what I'm saying is like, if you said dance, bitch. Yeah, it's yeah, true. Yeah, Della but listen, you gotta you gotta really think. If he was shooting at the ground and he was just like dance, bitch, dance, bitch, he probably wasn't meaning to shoot her in the foot. He's probably That's trying to scare her into mm-hmm. jumping around and dance, bitch, dance, bitch, and then a bullet ricocheted and hit her in the foot. But yep. according to the law and mm-hmm. the elements that need to be reached. Under California state law, intentions was part of it. And from what I read, there was nothing that showed he intentionally meant to do that shit. Yeah, that's a fact. Um, I don't know what y'all... Uh, I no, no, no. I think... About, I heard about that witness that had the crazy story. Yeah, the witness had a crazy he story. The, what, he said he seen a female sparks come from her first. Then she, then he said he yeah. seen sparks come from the male. Right. The sparks was going up in the air. They said the female sparks was being directed. Yeah. See so, now what it, now? I don't know. Yeah, I, I mean, I feel like they they definitely put some shit together so they could get so they could get that man. But also, I don't want to take anything from it because some a black woman did get shot. But son was wrong anyway. Like <clears throat> just because of the situation. Sometimes as a man, you got to know the situation you putting yourself in, bro. Like I always say, from my from outside of the court. Like what I think happened is, you know, you were smashing both of them. Girl. It just sounds like it was a mess. Number one, they all with the court trying to cover it up. Yeah, it was a mess. Fire. You were smashing That's both of them. Fire. If you smashing both of them, you already know. As soon as you pull up in any room, they gonna be in. Never mind, you was at Kylie Jenner's house where she was failing you too. Mm-hmm. That's a messy situation. You pulled up in a messy situation. Shit got crazy, bro. And I, like I said, like I even what the witness said, he saw sparks coming from Shorty. So, nah. But then he testified that he also saw sparks look like it was coming from Tory too. Yeah, so that was just conflicting. Yeah, right there too. So it was that put doubt on whether or not Tory dumped the 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 whole clip, right? Or, or Shorty right. had part in it too. So that yeah. was doubt yeah. right there. Right. But so this is what I'm gonna tell you what happened. Said the females was arguing first. They was the first. No, no. He said he heard the mark, but I'm gonna tell you what I think. What I think fucked Tory was the Meg's friend, Kelsey, or ex-friend, whatever she Yeah, whatever she She is. tried to... First, Meg tried to say she... she I, I got the vibe Meg was trying to not tell on dude at first. Facts. Then dude started talking crazy shit in the background, and then she was like, all right, motherfucker, yeah, it was him. Mm-hmm. She gave some excuse on police brutality and... Things like mm-hmm. that in the beginning, but then eventually he was he was saying what he was saying. So it seemed like she said, "All right, fuck it." Then yeah, he shot me, whatever. But anyways, the 
Kelsey Nicole girl, mm-hmm. right? The Kelsey yeah, Nicole girl. Point too. Point though. She gave a 80 minute description, recorded description to the DA mm-hmm. about what went down that night. Right? Facts. And then when she took the stand, she tried to play the I don't remember. I don't really want to be here. I'm going through a lot of shit. I don't remember. And the judge was like, all right, all right, bitch, listen. You don't remember? Well, all right, fuck it. I'm going to allow the jury to hear your 80-minute recording. Mm-hmm. And guess what? The recording. The and the test. No, no, not the testimony, the, but her, her, her the interview. The the, yeah, the interview was identical to what Meg said happened. Facts. That's a fact. You know what I mean? So when the jury heard that shit... They was like, you know what I mean? Right there, they know. Yeah. Like, this girl they ain't the one that shot her. If anything, he shot her. But my thing is, it wasn't intentional. So how did they, they should have, I don't know if the judge explained that. Usually the judge does explain to a jury what elements the DA has to prove in order to get mm-hmm. a guilty verdict. So I don't know how they came to the conclusion that this man intentionally shot this girl. I don't know how they came to that. So I, do, do I think that it was probably like, yeah, he could have got found guilty for the mm-hmm. possession of the gun. Yeah, he mm-hmm. could have got found guilty for recklessly firing a gun, but should he have been found guilty for shooting her pinky toe off? Right. Nah, B. Now, I, what I do it know it is... It the, shouldn't have happened like that. Yeah, that's from a fact. From what I seen from a legal... I'm not no lawyer, but I, I, I mean, I seen what they said they had to prove. Now, and it didn't seem like there was any intention there that he intentionally shot her. That's I don't a fact. Know what, I'm saying. what I do know is the jury, before they became, came to their verdict, they did ask the judge... What does willfully mean? Like, what does, like, because they say he was willfully, you know what I mean? So it was like, what does that mean exactly? So I guess they got a definition on that yeah. before they decided whatever they decided. You feel me? So I think that, um, yeah, man, I, it's a, I think that through that trial, I'm going to keep it real. I think through that trial, it was such a mess. Everybody has so many conflicting stories. Also, it's Christmas time. That plays a part. I think them juries was trying to go home. Yeah. So well, that's I mean, why. They, they came for, up with their verdict they on yeah. Friday. They that's why they asked what? certain they questions. What? Like, eight, yo, what's, what's. Eight, nine days? What's willfully mean? Okay, willfully, that means this. Okay, we're going to judge it off this. Because, nigga, it's Christmas time. It took them less than 24 yeah, hours. Yeah, because you got to also think these are people still judging this shit. You that's I mean? my problem with the justice system. There's people. You have, these are still humans. You have 12 jurors that have shown a half hour video. But prior to jury selection, then they're picked for jury, and then you have a judge telling them certain things, and then it's trying to explain legal right. terms to them. Yet you expect them to make an honest judgment when it takes at least four years for somebody to get a law degree. That's a fact. To understand, to even say, okay, we think that you understand the law enough to get a degree. We'll right. give you a license now. That don't mean you're going to be a good lawyer or a bad lawyer, but you at least know enough to be a lawyer, right? That's a fact. And, and then you just put your fate. This is why people don't like to go to trial. Because mm-hmm. when you know I'm going to put my fate in the hands of fucking six or 12 people that don't really know the fucking law, they're not going to listen to nothing on a legal standpoint. They're going to go based off of emotion. And if mm-hmm. they feel like I did it, guess what's going to happen? You're going to get found guilty. Yeah. You know I mean? And then you got to deal with a judge with more times than not a judge more often than not was a former prosecutor. Mm-hmm. So who the fuck you think he's siding with? Facts. Majority so of the time, he's supposed to be up there and be impartial and, uh, and unbiased. But how many times, mm-hmm. I don't know about y'all, I've been in court numerous times mm-hmm. and I know plenty of people where legally they should have be the case or it could have got thrown out or whatever and the judge mm-hmm. still found a way to deny the shit. Mm-hmm. So then mm-hmm. what? What did they do? Well, now he denied my shit. He should have, he should have, he should have, um... He should have went with the motion, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. But he didn't. Now I'm either going to take 20 or I'm going to plea out and take five to seven. Yeah. You understand right. what I'm saying? Because the motion, if, the motion was everything. The motion was everything. The motion was everything. Like, it was a legal search or whatever. whatever. And whatever. the motion, this shit should have got thrown out. Right. But the judge let that shit go. He denied your motion. Right. So now it's like, shit, well... <laughs> If I can't beat the fucking motion, then I'm, I'm not going to beat it in trial. Yeah, I damn sure ain't going to beat this fucking trial. Because usually that motion is based on like some kind of emotion to like suppress some kind of evidence, right? Mm-hmm. So, and if a motion gets granted, that means when you go to trial, the DA can no longer use that as evidence. Mm-hmm. You understand? So let's say it's a, it's a, it's a, a, a trafficking case, right? And mm-hmm. you get pulled over in a motor vehicle, they find something in there, but you get the motion granted. Right. The judge grants the motion to suppress the evidence based on 
an illegal search and seizure, whatever, right? Now, mm. the case is still open. It doesn't mean your case is, is closed. What it means is the jury can no longer present what they found in that vehicle as evidence no mm. more, right? They can't. So now it's up to the jury to say, I mean, the, I mean, not the jury, the DA to be like, well, we're going to go to trial, but and the, jury, the judge is going to say, you go to trial based on what? <laughs> I right. suppress the evidence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't. So you can take them to trial based on what? So usually they'll throw it out. But when they don't do that, and they usually don't do that because they know that they can rule against you, right? Mm -hmm. And they know that you're gonna take a plea. And even if you appeal it and they, and they, and, they, and their ruling gets overturned, they'll still get four or five years out of you in prison anyway before you get out. Yeah, that's a fact. These judges know that shit. That's a fact. So people don't want to do that. That's the that's the crazy thing with the justice system. And speaking on the justice system, right? Yeah. We're talking about that shit. I mean, we familiar with it. How y'all yeah. feel about that gunna and um young thug shit? Gonna tell. <laughs> gonna tell. <Yeah. laughs> nah, um not no bullshit. Y'all researched it? I researched it. Um long after that first plea. That I mean, I feel like everybody's playing out. Mm -hmm. Um, I feel like me personally, they want to get Young Thug. Absolutely, absolutely. He's they a, want Young Thug. Folks. He's the he's the guy that they want. That's clear as day. And I think twenty eight people involved in that case. The more people that play out, the more the more they're just using that to be like, nigga, mm -hmm. you. It's you not know. like this. My, my bad. I'm sorry. Go ahead, chop right, something. Do your thing, my, um, my boy. So this is what dudes don't understand. When it comes to the feds, right? It's not feds. It's a state, it's a state rico. rico. Yeah. Well, the feds it, it, well, they, more. Yeah. Well, they kind of they, they kind of use the same evidence. So, like when yep. he's in in cases like that, like so in like regular state case, cases or whatever, like you plead out, you get your time. That's it. It's just over and done with. Mm -hmm. In a case like that, where you have multiple co defendants and you got you know young thug at the head of the indictment. <sighs> Like, dudes be pleading out, and they think that they're just going to get their, their time. Like, like Gunner was like, yo, I'm not telling on nobody. I'm not testifying on anybody or whatever. Like, bro, you don't understand. When you sign that plea agreement saying that you know that, you aware the lab that you're aware that the, the label wasn't just a label, but it was also a gang, and there was... And, and you're aware of criminal activities that were going on. But is that, isn't that what makes it a difference between a regular plea and an Alfred plea, though? Like, you're supposed to maintain your innocence while still saying that you're guilty, something along the lines of that? No, right. you maintain your, in your innocence, but what you admit to is that the DA has a certain amount of evidence that, that you feel as though if you went to trial, you would be found guilty. Okay, got you. Got so you. so in, in that situation where he's pleading out to that, like... He might not think that he's telling, but he's really burying Young Thug because if if, if what he's pleading out to can be used, used against yes. Young Thug at oh. trial, mm -hmm. and from what I researched, his lawyer yeah. said that that was not that's part of the plea. Right. What was part of the plea that's was right. his plea bargain and what he what he said in court cannot be used against Thug, and that's mm -hmm. one of the reasons why he. He 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 said I right, I plea out to that shit. So, so let me ask you this, right? So, we all know, but no, no, but 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 there is a but in that because there are times where people do plea out, and that's not part of one of the conditions. Just the, like the one right. if, you, day, if you don't, if you don't, if you 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 may plea out, yeah. and the DA is 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 saying we can use your plea to hurt your co-defendants. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? And, and and some dudes do plea out knowing that. And then they're like, well, I ain't telling on nobody, but you still, you did tell because you pled to sufficient, you pled to um, sufficient facts, facts mm -hmm. that now the DA is going to use against your co-defendants. So therefore, it's it's some okay. rap shit. So, so just like I was about to say, we're gonna, prime example, he don't got to go to court and testify. He doesn't have to say anything, but at the end of the day, yeah. he signed an agreement admitting to certain facts. Yeah, but that agreement can't be used against um, thugging him in court. That's what his lawyer said. The part of his plea was what he's pleading out to cannot be used against thug or anybody else in his case. Well, if he can't, then that's... Then, then, that's what I'm then saying. He's not that's right. Then he's not right. Then he's not right. I have one thing, right? Here's the thing. 
I didn't know that though. Yeah, I yeah. researched. Now, I looked it up today. That's yeah. what I look, I, I've been looking it up since like, that day it happened. I've like, told people that. We like, yeah. But now, you know how the internet is. Mm-hmm. Motherfuckers run with shit and don't now really when, research shit. Now bro. when we now we looking shit up. Now here's the thing. And during these court cases, they expect these jurors, twelve humans, to shut their TVs off, to not look at no internet. Yo. To never be swayed by public perception. Yeah, not that, even talk about it. That is bullshit. Absolutely. Of course it is. So, if you see Gunner, which, to be honest, all you got to do is go on your fucking Instagram. Right. And if you listen to a remote, if you listen to Hip Hop One song, they're going to tell you about Gunner. Shade Room, all them niggas going to tell you about Gunner. So, if you're a juror on that it's trial, if you're a juror on that trial... And you open your phone. Oh, this nigga took a plea. Subconsciously, it's already going to put you in a bad way. No, because... All right, so that comes down to... That, that comes video down that, to... That video that got leaked, that's what's made him look like a Right. Rat. No, no, what you're saying is... What you're saying makes... You got a valid point, X. You got right. a valid point. Because what you're saying is, even though legally, right? Even mm-hmm. though legally, they saying they can't use this against my co-defendants, mm-hmm. right? But you know... That these jurors are gonna see this shit on the internet. Facts. They're gonna see the hear about it on the radio and Facts. all that. So you still know that by you doing this shit and them being able to see that video of you pleading out to sufficient facts, mm-hmm. right? That can hurt my co-defendant. So, so morally and ethically, mm-hmm. as a as a gangster, mm-hmm. as somebody in the streets, mm-hmm. you know you're not supposed to do that because you can hurt your co-defendants, That's right? A fact. And that goes into the rule of no no snitching, no ratting, yeah. none of that, right? And that's where dudes do look at it like, mm-hmm. I don't give a fuck. He ratted because it wasn't just about legally him not... Okay, yeah, they can't use it against Thug and them, but like you said, the jurors mm-hmm. are going to be able to see that video of him pleading out to those sufficient facts. And if you think that that's not going to sway the jurors... Man, it's public. Well, so there's people Steve's out there that this, sense, you know I mean? sure. I nah, think, but I think that's, that's what that tape that's even a, got that's leaked. That's a valid fact. Yeah, it's that's public perception. That's, re- that's the reason public that video even got leaked online. No, all of them were getting leaked because even 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 the dude that that, that plot out today, his his whole his he whole combo. Year, he got thirty years probation, and then they said, oh, yeah, 15, that. 15, no, years. fifteen if he willing to testify during the trial. Yeah, they gave him like two different. I ain't gonna hold you. You might have just changed my mind, X. I think. Nah, I, mean, I, I, think I think. I, I, I think. I think at the end of the day, right, because here's the thing. You. Now I that th- you say that, I shit, think that's, that's what point. they do, right? Like, you know what I'm saying? Because these are the peoples that we deal with. I think that's what they do, right? So, if legally that they can't do nothing, why not shift the? Pu- just like even with the Megan Tory shit. This shit is about public perception. He shot me. Okay, cool. Let's say. Tory after that, if he gets off, he's always going to be the nigga that shot Meg Stallion. Like Chris Brown is the dude that beat Rihanna. Just like Chris Brown is the dude that beat Rihanna, even though Rihanna has publicly went on Instagram and forgave What about Megan, though? Is Megan always going to be the bitch that fucks all her friends' mans? It doesn't matter. Here's (laughs) why. why Here's why. Because there's a bunch of bunch of women that fuck all their friends' mans. There's not a lot of niggas that shoot (laughs) girls. I'm just saying. What's worse? (laughs) Just what can you live <laughs> with? Just Here's what I'm saying. Think about this. What can you live with? You can live with a girl that fucks a bunch of they niggas' so, mans because we all know them. But a nigga that shoots girls, get him the fuck out of here. Right. And he's Canadian. Send him up. Send him yeah, I'm to. All for protected black send women, him but back if they home. Protect themselves. You out here bowing but, up. But here's a, here's a, here's also what I'm saying. So when it comes <laughs> to the gunner black. situation <laughs> with these celebrities. They play the public perception game. They convict you before they convict you. Yeah, you live in the court of public opinion when you're an entertainer. You already know that. When you you are an entertainer, you're public property. Yeah, you sign up for that. Period, point blank, period. Bill, listen, all of them, they were convicted before they were convicted. Mm -hmm. Once they said Bill Cosby was doing whatever he was doing before he ever went to court, there there was niggas on Facebook posting memes of Mm -hmm. him being Steph Curry shooting pills in the basket. Mm Mm-hmm. He was convicted before he was yeah, convicted. The memes was fire. Right, go hold you. Yo, did did, I mean, did 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 y'all see though how like it switched though? Yeah. Because at first everybody was still fucking with Tory. Vax. And everybody was like, yo, like Meg was mm-hmm. the bad person. Mm-hmm. At first I felt like dudes was flaming Tory when it first happened. Mm-hmm. And then it came out that there might be some bullshit on right. Meg's end and dudes started 
defending Tory. Tory. Like, oh, these That's bitches lying. Like, all the industry and like they they, they was yeah. fucking with Tory. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, not in the very beginning though. In the very beginning, I think everybody was like, oh, so we shooting bitches now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think yeah. in the very beginning, yeah. everybody. Like the first couple days, yeah, yeah. first couple days, yeah. Started really. Yeah, when I up a little bit, he started making that music. Yeah, when that story first leaked, everybody was like, yo, you, sh you shooting yeah. girls, that's no good. Right. That shit whack, da 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 da. But I think as a story, because I think that. And let's be clear, it is whack. Like, there should be no whack. reason when you you arguing with a female that a gun needs to be involved, bro. There should be no need that a gun should ever be involved. But what if it wasn't his gun, though? I don't know who's what if, what, if, what if it was Shorty's gun? I she just, was getting her ass. Shorty, like seven, eight. She got hands like Will Chamberlain. I That's just think saying. that, yeah. What if Shorty was getting her like ass? 4 11. And she tried, to sh True. she tried to shoot at, at Meg to Stop get her up fight, off her. And mm -hmm. nigga Tori took the, took the gun yep. and was like, Bitch, what are you doing? And shot up in the air to empty the clip off. Right. You know what I'm saying? And how, then, to hit, how to hit the foot, though? No, that's what I'm saying. Like, what if what if the what chick if Kelsey is the one that hit the foot? Fucking shot Meg, bro. And the nigga Tory took the gun. From like, what I the read, fuck is you doing, bitch? Witnesses, she's the one who grabbed the gun out the car first and started shooting. Yeah, that, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, cause, cause yo, if 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 like, I don't like, I don't know, like, we back on this Megan Tory. No, nah, because yo, because yo, we gotta get away. No, nah, because we talking about gunning, gunning, wasn't we? We, 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 we were talking about gunning, but we went back. But it's okay. No, we gotta get away from this show. Yeah, man. Let's move on because we were talking about the gunner shit, and that goes on to another thing that I wanted to talk about because I saw a video of. What? It was a Memphis rapper. He's mm -hmm. cool with Dolph and them. I don't know his name, but uh, he was talking oh boy, he about. He's, he's going to tell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. some shit. He was speaking about this gangster shit don't apply to every part of your life. Mm -hmm. If you see a kid or a woman being hurt or killed or something like that, and you tell the, the police it's not snitching. Mm -hmm. Or you can handle it on some street shit on your own, but you also have the right to go tell the police and, and it shouldn't be considered snitching. I'm just trying to figure out when is it appropriate time to snitch if you a street dude. That's mm -hmm. what I was getting from that. That don't come with the code of ethics of the street, though. You know that. Yeah, but yeah, that don't come with the code of ethics, but also, what is a snitch? A, a civilian. Hold on. What is a snitch? Rules don't apply to a me, snitch is a person that you conspire to do something with somebody. Y'all get caught, you tell, tell on him mm -hmm. for lesser crime. Or you tell that's on whoever's snitch. working. That's I a snitch. That, that's a rat. Nah, a snitch a snitch is somebody that motherfucking work with them people. A snitch is somebody that fucking gets somebody sent to jail. Right. Period. No, 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 no. Not, or, I'm or, just saying, or, 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 I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying by the day civilian. Yeah, not, not, I mean, well, I'm saying by the dictionary this is why definition. I said in terms of a street oh, of what a was, snitch is, right? That's what I'm saying. So I'm, I was talking in terms of a street street dude because he was yeah. saying he was talking about street shit. Right. He was talking about gangster shit. Like, oh, this gangster shit shouldn't. Dudes don't know when this gangster shit apply. They think it's supposed to apply at all times and blah, blah, blah. And then he brought up a scenario where right. he said, you know, if you see a kid get shot and killed and, and you tell the police you're not a snitch or you can't handle it how you want to handle it on some street shit. And, and so what I took from that was is, is basically apparently now you can be a street dude and it's an appropriate time to snitch and still be considered you a street dude, You can choose when right? you want to use the code to be a gangster, basically. Yeah. The fuck yeah. 6 that ruined it out. Yeah, because at nah, the end nigga, of the... These, th fucking, these, these fuck niggas that be in the fucking game this in the streets, crazy. they ain't got no business being in the streets, that talking about crazy. street shit, doing street shit, nigga, and they out here way above their fucking heads and don't belong in this fucking shit. Right. Niggas need to shut the fuck up and go fucking... Run a business, go to fucking school, mm -hmm. do whatever the fuck you want to do. Because once you sign up for this shit, nigga, this shit's for life. There ain't no fucking give backsies. There ain't if no you take backs. Active. If you act, nigga, if you act, give backsies. Yo, ain't, ain't none of that <laughs> shit. Ain't none of that shit. Because yo, because yo, this, this shit's crazy. Because nah, I if watch. You active, if you I watch, active, you active. There's no way around it. If you even active, if you're not active. active once you signed up, I don't give a fuck if you're not active or not no more. Once okay, I, you I signed up saying. for being a fucking gangster or being in these streets, mm -hmm. you got to fucking, you sign up for everything that comes along with it. Mm -hmm. yeah, right. So I don't give a fuck what happens. I don't give a fuck if you hustle, but you ain't never busted a gun or you ain't never beat somebody up, but you hustle. Well, if a nigga come rob you, you can't go tell on that man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nigga, you signed up for that. Mm -hmm. You should have fucking just stayed a straight a straight nigga. That's mm -hmm. it. Straight narrow square. Don't man. sign up for this fucking shit because this shit is forever. And what I and and and, and too many motherfuckers 
be thinking that this street shit is for everybody because yeah, it's but hustling so saturated. In the streets, but hustling in the streets on some gang or or so you you I think that there's a differentiation between somebody who just is like a square type of not street dude but a good hustler and somebody really involved in nah, the streets. You're show. bugging. You're so bugging. you're telling all right. So you're this bugging. what I'm saying. All right, all right. This is what I'm trying to tell you. So there's dudes out there that you know, right? They're not street dudes. They're not even really gangster. They don't follow that code of being a gangster, or nothing. But they might sell thousands of pounds of weed. Absolutely. Right. Okay. But that doesn't mean that they're a gangster. That doesn't mean that they follow nah. the code no, and ethics nah. of being a playing, gangster. No. Bro. They're no. playing in a life of gangster shit. Can exactly. Happen. Exactly. Right. If somebody comes to their crib, bust exactly. them over their head, tie them up, and take yeah, all the. But what I'm saying is, do you okay? But if you know that they really don't, if they don't, if they are not, if they don't live by those codes and ethics of a gangster, he shouldn't be in the streets. Nigga. But he may not be. What I'm saying is, he might not be in the streets. Like what we consider in the streets. And no, no, this dude's right now no, bro, in the, the summer. I'm not gonna let you do this. this bro. No, no, look, I'm, I'm saying, not I'm not trusting what I'm saying. Is, it's, nice. it's a reality. Nice. This dude's right now nice. in the suburbs, right? Nice. They're not involved in the yeah. streets. They don't deal they, with they, nobody yo, in the hood, no, none of yo, that shit. They yo, got their little clientele or whatever, but they You're they, outlaw. They, you're they, doing they something hustling. going against the law. They hustling. When you talking about outlaw, you're in the streets. What I'm saying is, if they're not, if they're not. I can't wait till we play this shit. No, what I'm asking. Oh, I can't wait till we play this shit. Hold on, hold on. This is what I'm saying, be good. I'm just asking a question, though. I'm asking a question. I you. Do you really. Really expect them not to tell? Do you expect them to abide by the don't, codes of the streets? Don't be a fucking yes. outlaw. But listen, yes. don't be an outlaw. I don't. I don't. I'm, don't do I'm not surprised. I'm, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. No, I'm not surprised. No, 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 the niggas that hustled, no matter what they did, whatever they did, they knew what came along with all of In it. In our environment. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me yeah. finish, bro. Let me finish. Right? Yeah. We knew what came along with it. In our environment. Uh, no, in our environment, the rules are, 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 are stern it's, in our environment. It's, it's, in other environments, there might not be a stern, not but they still apply That's what I'm trying they to tell still you. Apply all right. It's not looked at as street shit. It looked at like, yeah, I was selling drugs. I shouldn't have been doing it. But these guys ran in my house and beat me up and shot my girlfriend. I'm fucking telling. All You're right. not looking. Dog, if you... Where we come from, we say, you can't tell. Okay. Because, Motherfucker, okay. you was... But because, another dude that don't come from, from that where we're from. is That's not going to see it okay. like that. Now, again... You see like, what I'm saying? Again, like I was saying, right? Like, do I see? Yeah, you you, you told. Yeah, you, you told. But it's like, did I expect you not Bro, to Bro, you don't tell? let me talk? No, I am, but I'm just... All right, go ahead. All right. Yeah. Thank yeah, you. I appreciate it. All right. Now, like I was saying, right? When you got a dude that signs up <laughs> for the street shit, mm -hmm. right? What is signing up for whether, the Whether... It can be hustling. Or anything outside of the law. Just say it, that. Anything outside of the law. Anything if you outside sign of the up law to break the law, shit. if you sign up to break the law, you have to be prepared for everything that comes along with it. Mm -hmm. Because we know that when you break the law, there's consequences. Mm -hmm. Period. Yes, yeah. but there's consequences. But breaking can the I law finish? as a fucking white-collar criminal is not the same as breaking the law as somebody that's signed up for some gangster it, shit. It doesn't, it doesn't matter, bro. It so does. You, no, it doesn't, bro. Because at the end of the day, if you sign up to break the fucking law, you need to keep your fucking mouth shut. Mm -hmm. Period. And that's the problem. Because everybody thinks that everybody can hustle. Everybody thinks that right. everybody can... Do whatever the fuck they Facts. want, and they don't gotta deal with the consequences, and that's why you have so many niggas out here telling. That's what's wrong with the fucking game. Right. Because mm -hmm. back in the day, that shit was never allowed. Right. Niggas mm -hmm. wasn't allowed to do the shit that they do fucking yeah, right. today, and that's Facts. the problem, dog. You got niggas being like, "Oh, nah, yo, he's different. He's built different. Oh, it's cool to tell on him. Yeah, right. Or fucking. Yeah. Or well, he did this fuck shit to me, so yeah. that's why I told on him. Nigga, you's a bitch. You should have oh, never fucking told." Oh, nigga, period, bro. Now now. There's no fucking, there's no reasoning weird. behind this shit, bro. Now I put it to you like, I, just, I put it simple. Certain dudes, simple. I, don't, I don't expect that from Simple, me. right? Now, like, now me, the expectation that you hold on to something and the fact that these are the fucking rules are different. It's like if you sign up for a basketball team. Right, you sign up for a basketball team? Nigga, we running 100 suicides. I don't expect that you're going to make it. But we, nigga, we running. Yeah, that's the fuck we doing. Yeah, because on this basketball team, we run a hundred suicides. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You go outside the law, the rule is shut the fuck up. That's it. 
Now, do I expect you to shut the fuck up? Because okay, at the end of the day, because some guys in the street, we from the poor part. Some guys are from the bird part. So some of us selling drugs is you get 10 years. For some of us, it's a slap on the motherfucking wrist. You go home to your dad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? So you, I just sold drugs, dude. Guess what, bro? If you decide to go outside the law, shut up. Right. Because you might tell, and it might be cool for you. But the guy you told on, it might not be cool for. So he might be waiting for you all nah, day. Look, what I'm saying is I'm not arguing against the rule. I'm right. not arguing against the rule. Right. I think, all right, so let me let me clarify because uh-huh. I'm not arguing against the rule, right? Mm-hmm. Where we come from, the rule is no telling, don't rap, exactly period, keep your fucking saying. mouth shut. I got you. Go I ahead. bet. I was just saying that there's yeah, certain right. people that told, mm-hmm. and I was like, motherfuckers like, yo, I heard he told, and I'm, and, and me, me, me personally, because everything I've been through, yeah, you right. and I you know who's been, who gonna fall. Right, right, I know who's been in the yeah, streets, yeah, and I know who's uh-huh. built like that, yeah. no so doubt. when it was brought to my attention, yeah. yo, duh, 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 told, I'm like this, mm-hmm. oh, oh, y'all, y'all must have had a different expectation of him, because I never viewed that person as a gangster, yo, I never, agree with you, you know right, what I'm right, saying, right, right, right. I never seen him, now, if if somebody told me you told, mm-hmm. I would yeah. I would be shocked. Yeah, yeah. I'd be like, oh shit, absolutely. I never would have because I had a different expectation. Yeah, right? right. I know you. I'm yeah. like, That's nah, here's the expectations you, have you understand what I'm saying? So I, what, I, what 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 I think I was just saying is that there's certain people involved in certain in certain things, and it doesn't have to be a particular lifestyle. Like somebody might sell drugs, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're involved in a gangster lifestyle. Like the mm-hmm. gangster code is no mean. snitching. No, the street I, code is. Hold on, it. hold on, hold on. I'm saying it. though because it's true. When it first happened, right? Mm-hmm. The gangster code. Look, what it, what 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 the. The original gangsters is, is like mafia shit, right? That's mm-hmm. where we get a lot of these morals mm-hmm. and ethics of the street mm-hmm. code from. It all evolved from the mob, right? Mm-hmm. And, and it's no it's snitching under any circumstances. Yeah. If you were involved in this lifestyle, mm-hmm. look, they was talking about this specific lifestyle. Mm-hmm. If you're involved in this lifestyle, mm-hmm. you are a part of this, mm-hmm. you never tell, mm-hmm. right? You, mm-hmm. you never tell. Mm-hmm. So then, you know... Okay, that's what it is. But then there's people who are, are involved in other illegal activity but may not identify with the gangster lifestyle. That's mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Like, right. Bernie Madoff was a white-collar criminal. He was not a gangster. Mm-hmm. So if he started Jeez. telling on other... No, that's what I'm saying, though. That's but what I'm saying, though. I if he started you. telling I know you're going on with other it. people, yeah. I'm like... You don't expect it from like, Bernie. I didn't expect him not to do that. Bernie was Absolutely. Like you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so what I, all, I, all I was trying to say was... <laughs> I don't always like That's certain fact, people, though. certain people tell, and I, yeah. I don't like, I don't, yeah, you, yeah, you told, yeah, you snitched, but was it, was it, was it expected for me personally? Yeah, it was. Now, what I'll get back to originally was, is it appropriate ever for a street dude, for a gangster to tell? I think we all agree, nah. Yeah. All right, nah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But I was, you know me, I get a little deeper with certain stuff, but because yeah. it's dudes that told, and oh, he's a rat, this, that, and the third. And I'm just like, yeah, he's a rat, but I don't know. Mm-hmm. I, I, so, I didn't know he was identifying as mm-hmm. a gangster. So, I, I didn't know that. So you, this is you, you, this is my thing. I just, I, I just, I'm just going to get this in real quick, right? Mm-hmm. So that is the problem. What you're saying right yeah, now on next topic. Is, is, is what the, the, what the problem is also. with the streets today. Yeah. Because back in the day, those people that you would expect to tell weren't allowed in the streets. Mm-hmm. And now everybody's in the streets mm-hmm. without without any re- realization of what the game brings. Yeah. And that's why we can look at this person and be like, yeah, I expected him to tell because yeah, we know, know he's not really a gangster. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We know he's soft. Mm-hmm. You know what oh, I'm saying? God. And that is the problem because... Because these dudes is allowed in the streets, and that's why you have so many dudes telling. Because they're not held to the same code that. Yeah, because dudes come in the game now and they remix the they remix the rules of yeah, the game. Right. So we just put it out there. The bottom line is, is 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 if you if you if you identify with this street shit or you identify as a gangster, under no circumstances do you ever tell. It doesn't right. matter if you're in a situation where the shit seems unfair. Mm-hmm. The rules are, motherfucker, you don't tell. Period. Right. There's never an appropriate time to tell if you if Absolutely. you if you say you street or gangster or none of that, bro. There's no such thing as being a, a rat and a gangster at the same time. There's no such thing. No such There's thing. no such thing. Absolutely. Y'all ever seen the movie Goodfellas? 
fellas, when, when, when Henry Hill first got popped, he thought they was going to be mad. He kept his mouth shut. They was all outside of court, and they said, you did the right thing. The right. number one, what he said, the number one rule, he said, the number one rule is, not number two, not number three, not number four. He said, the number one rule is, Uno. if you get bagged, you keep your mouth shut, and you never mm. tell on your friends. That's literally the number <laughs> one Listen. rule Simple. when it Listen. comes to this gangster shit. Simple. So at the end of the day, th th this whole I, justifying I telling this shit, just stop. I am a square. Listen, and I'm gonna tell you this. Man, look, I'll man. tell you this. The number one thing, and this is this just to end it, you know what I'm saying? When we grew up, there was honor amongst thieves. Yeah, now there's no Snitching honor. is yeah, not honorable no honor no at all. So that's why you don't do it. You taught not to tell at four years old. Right? right? Nobody so right. like you like what we were saying with nice, like there's guys, like even with the Takashi situation, right? For me, how I look at it is, I looked at the, the gangsters in that situation. How the fuck didn't y'all know this nigga was going to tell if he to got go. jammed? I'm trying to tell you. That's kind of like what Nice was saying, though. Yeah. yeah. How you know you know? That's exactly yeah. what Nice was saying. So it yeah. even goes to even Chop's point. Mm -hmm. Back in the day, our OGs didn't allow certain niggas in the street because it was like, fam, if you get in a fight or you get hit or whatever yeah, the fuck, the yeah. other side, because yeah. the making money side is always positive. Everybody's yeah. lit. But when the shit starts happening to yeah, you, bro. You heard what you said, though, but that's what blinds motherfuckers to making money. Yeah. But Absolutely. they don't tell you about when the shit starts going down, like mm -hmm. when the, that's when it gets real. Yeah, so. Sir. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah, Yo, let's move on to this. Keep next it honorable, topic, man. man. Right now, we got the artist of the week. Shout out to my man F and M Moot. Shout out to Moot. He yeah. just put out a new and joint, Fibble. something crazy. Yo, his shit Moot. go. Yo, his shit slap, bro. Yeah, yeah let's do it. Every day harassing me. Fuck um, it. Uh, uh, Zp just dropped. Just dropped. Business first. Business first. And, Look uh, it up on all streaming platforms: right. iTunes, Spotify, Spotify, YouTube. It's on all of them, man. All your DSPs. Yeah, and we are gonna play a track from this right now. This yeah. one right here called Neighborhood Supplier. Let's do it. Huh? No way. Oh yeah, man. We it's okay. That's you. That's always fucking up that bag, huh? That shoot, I see me shining on them niggas, so you mad, huh? That shoot, that's always frying on the grand, huh? Why? Them niggas jumped your man, but you ain't do shit, you just ran, huh? That shoot, that's always nah. lying about the grams, huh? Man. I had you know what I'm saying? From the hood putting it together, hey. Sands, huh? That shoot, that window shopper never buy, huh? It don't matter. That shoot ain't got no hustle, getting high off your supply, huh? That shoot, that's out here chasing after clout, huh? That shoot, bitch, on the knees, she keep my dick inside her mouth, huh? It's me, I put it down for the north, huh? It's me, I get that bag and spit that shit like a divorce, huh? I'm a paper chaser, nigga, my block got fired. Them niggas hating, we spin the block, make them expire. Know what it is, I came from nothing. I was hustling to give me a brick. Now I'm the neighborhood supplier. I'm a paper chaser, nigga, my block got fired. Them niggas hating, we spin the block, make them expire. Know what it is, I came from nothing. I was hustling to give me a brick. Now I'm the neighborhood supplier. That's you that say you ballin', but you broke, huh? Done ran off with that work and now them gangsters at your throat, huh? You acting like you got it, but you owe, huh? They know I took them trips and bought them bricks and bought a low, huh? You need a plug, you trying to front a pack, huh? But you working for them people, you a motherfucking rat, huh? They took your bike and you ain't get it back, huh? Now you all on IG acting like a killer, but that's cap, huh? You not really living what you rap, huh? I asked them niggas, man, I really made six figures in that trap, huh? Then I paid the cost to be the boss, huh? Free pudgy out that Jamie took that charger, he ain't talk. I'm a paper chaser, nigga, my block got fired. Them niggas hating, we spin the block, make them expire. Know what it is? I came from nothing, I was hustling to give me a brick. Now I'm the neighborhood supplier. I'm a paper chaser, nigga, my block got fired. Them niggas hating, we spin the block, make them expire. Know what it is? I came from nothing, I was hustling to give me a brick. Definitely move, ain't no blabbers guy on this record, bro. Yeah, you stupid. Yo, we said we set up the show with that word. Fuck it, dog. Listen, man, <laughs> that's the type of shit that'll keep people. They're like, "What the fuck did he just say?" <laughs> and they Google it. Oh, this shit is real. Damn bullshit. You got your shirts pressed up to say "Blather Skype, man." No, Blather Skype. Word. Skype. You heard? That's that's, that's that thing. F Shout out to Mook. F and M Mook, man. Yeah. Yeah. F and M Mook, no man. Bullshit. No I bullshit. fuck with Mook though. Pause. His his um. We're going into the word of the week, yeah, man. Word of the day. Well, word of the day with people. <laughs> We already did that. Good hit him, Pete. I don't know. Excel kind of nah, Pete, that's, that's you. That's you. Hit him. Hit him. I take my shit off of hit him. But this motherfucker would just shoot out. That's Blatter your word. Skype. That's your word now. Blather Sky is like, your word now. My, my, little, my little bullshit ass word is like, damn, is this really going to nah, be? Your word now is Blather Sky. That's you. That's this motherfucker, you want to hear what I want to say. What's right, nigga? Come on, bitch. Blather Sky, hit him with it, man. Let him know what that means. PZ's word of the week. Ambiguous. Mm hmm. Adjective. Use it in a sentence. Other words with similar meaning, equivocal. 
Hey. Open to more than one interpretation. Hey. The equivocal nature of her remarks. If we were to use that in a sentence. Fire. Yeah. Another word with similar meaning, ambivalent. Oh. Having mixed feelings or contradictory ideas about something or someone. Mm -hmm. Some loved her. Some hated her. Few were ambivalent about her. She was spicy. She was spicy. Yeah. She, she was spicy. Yeah, she you know, was niggas spicy. Would be like, you think you smart, yo? <laughs> Spell that shit. Right. <laughs> hey, that Hold up, hey. yo. Spell that thing. You heard? It's derived in the 16th century. It comes obscure from the word ambi, meaning both ways. Okay. And then jer to drive. Okay. Plus the O-U-S. Okay. Created the word ambiguous. Now spell it. What do you mean? A M B I G U O U S. You got the phone in front of you. U O U S. Absolutely. I, I wasn't going to remember that shit. That's nah. Why I told you shit that. Right. Yeah. Also means indistinctiveness, incapable of being unexplained, interpreted, or accounted for, inexplicable, capable of being understood in two or more possible senses or ways. Word. So let me break this down to Uncle Peasy terms. I'm going to give you a sentence. This girl told her baby daddy that she don't talk to me no more. It had been months. Mm -hmm. She also told me she ain't been fucking with her baby daddy for a while. Mm -hmm. It also seems like it seems like baby girl playing both sides of the fence. Mm -hmm. That ambiguous bitch. Yeah, she's very <laughs> ambiguous. Yes. And, 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 and PZ. And that is PZ's word of the week. And PZ. Also, she hit you with a lot of ambiguous blather skype. Blather skype. Yeah, yeah, that's too. what it sounds like to me. She hit you with a bunch of blather skype. And for those, those who want to know what blather skype means, <laughs> it's just a person who says a lot of words that don't mean nothing. Don't mean nothing. So she... But Shorty hit you a lot, big ambiguous bladder skype. Don't let bla don't let her do that. Bladder. Don't let her do that to you, my guy. Yeah, Word, yeah, no she was bullshit. tripping, yeah. heavy tripping. Don't let her do that to you. Don't let. Her. <laughs> hey fellas, hey, don't yo, uh, fellas. Yo, yo, and that was Peasy's word of the week. And I Fact. bet you she ain't get you no Christmas gift, my nigga. No, yeah, yeah, don't get feathers. Just, yeah, no, this is my camera right here, fellas. Don't get hit with a the ambig ambiguous bladder skype. Don't get hit with that. That's it's filthy out here in the streets. Listen, we gonna move. We gonna move on. Filthy. I got a little rant to go on. Man. All right, let's I know go. What it is? It's talk to me nice. Listen, I seen people out there crying and shit, man. I wanna, I wanna clarify something. If you getting cheated on and you don't know about it, you don't look stupid. A lot of y'all out here getting mad, talking about somebody had you out here looking like a fool, you looking stupid, things mm -hmm. of that nature. You never look stupid if you don't know about it. You look stupid once you're made aware of the person's behavior, and then what you do after the fact makes you look stupid. Example, mm -hmm. a lot of women out here, you find out a man's cheating on you, right? Then you mad. You blaming mm -hmm. him. He got me looking stupid. So you think your actions justify you doing foolish shit. You go run down on the next female. You fighting with her. Or, you know... You, you, you messaging people, you put it out there on Facebook or social media. Oh, he did X, Y, or Z. Next thing you know, we see you taking fucking matching pajama pics with him and, and things shoot, like that. Or, or, or black and red, or black and red joints. Bitches in the black front. and red joints, right. Or whatever the fuck with, with case the may be. Or next week, we see, yeah, like y'all get back together, you, you having his baby and shit. You know, you look stupid. You make yourself look stupid. Wow. You understand? Like somebody doing something to you, cheating or whatever behind your back. They don't, that's not, that's not making you look stupid. You can't look stupid for something you're unaware of. It's like people saying, oh, you look like a sucker. You're not a sucker unless you know you a sucker. If you know you're playing a sucker role, yeah, you, you, you look like a sucker. Mm -hmm. But when something does, somebody doing something and you're unaware of it, you don't look foolish. You don't look stupid, especially if, 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 if you a good person, right? If, if, I'm, if I'm the catch, if I'm the catch and you doing foolish shit behind my back, right? You're the one looking stupid. You played yourself. You didn't play me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and it's like people gotta realize that shit because <laughs> I ain't even, I ain't even nah, say because I'm, I'm, I'm talking. People really gotta realize that shit because I see a whole bunch of grown folks out here making themselves look real stupid, real stupid, full grown adults making themselves look yeah, stupid, but they blaming it on the person that did them dirty. Oh, this person cheated on me. So now you think you're justified of going and being 40, 50 years old, 35, whatever, rolling around in the streets with somebody else. You know what right. I mean? That shit is foolish. You got yourself looking dumb. You have choices. You have choices. You can choose to go do some foolish shit or you can choose to keep it mature and classy and keep it pushing. Right. But 
If that's what you want to do, that's on you. But stop blaming other people. Stop saying somebody else had you out here looking stupid. Nah. What you did after the fact, once you gain knowledge of the situation, is what makes you look stupid. You right. Know what I'm saying? You because you're not responsible for what you don't know. Yeah, that's what, like, I see too many people, and it's like, you, you just act irrational and crazy, and you blame it on somebody else. Nah, you didn't have to do that shit. Mm -hmm. You didn't have to go light that bitch's house on fire. You didn't have to go slash that girl's tires. You didn't have to go do any of the shit, or, or shoot the, for dudes. You didn't have to go shoot that man. You didn't have to do none of that stupid shit. Pussy. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, then saying. also the... You made yourself look stupid. Nobody you, made you look stupid. You made yourself look stupid. Because you never know what your person is telling the other person. Oh. That's just how that go. And she playing both sides of the fence. Exactly. So it's ambiguous, not your fault. Ambiguous bitch. Ambiguous <laughs> bitch. And she's hitting. She probably hit you with mad blatherskite. Mad blatherskite. So you believed the blatherskite, and you it's was. Just wild. That's not your fault, it's man, nigga. Wild. Not your fault. It's just wild, baby. Because you're a good person, and you believe so everybody at face just value. Tripping ambiguously. Yeah, just <laughs> tripping out, blatherskite, and all over the <laughs> fucking universe, saying a bunch of crazy <laughs> shit. It's wild out here in the world. It is. You know what I mean? But we don't got to stick on to that, too. No, nah, we don't got to stick on it. Off my chest nah, yeah, no doubt. Knowledge. Talk to me night. People, I saw a couple people this week that, unfortunately, they said they significant other cheated on them. I know it's hard for y'all during the holidays. You thought somebody loved you to find out right. who's cheating on you and shit, man. And and you hurt. And, and you know, it's like, look, you don't you don't look stupid. You know what I mean? Like I said, if you if, if you if you the catch, then you don't look stupid. They look foolish. They play themselves. Yeah, they but play look, themselves. What they you always do after play the themselves. fact will definitely make you look stupid. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? One thousand percent. Don't blame anybody but yourself. Yo. One thousand percent. Nah, for real. Don't blame anybody but yourself. Nah. I mean, and for you bitches out there that um, had a baby with him because you thought he would stay and then he didn't, and I know you're lonely because it's the holidays. I just want to throw that out there too. You know what I mean? You made yourself look stupid. Yeah. Had nothing yeah. to do with cheating, but you made yourself. Yeah. Look that might have stung a little bit. The key word is bladder sky. You they believe in the <laughs> bladder <laughs> sky. The niggas <laughs> hit you with yeah, yeah, da, 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 and you was you <laughs> fell for it, man. You he hit you the, with the bladder sky. He hit you with the premium. <laughs> the premium. Oh. And if he's in jail, he hit you with the premium pen blather Skype. He wrote that shit down. Don't fall for the blather <laughs> Skype out there. I'm talking about the get back. You out here talking about slicing car tires and shit. Yeah, I was man. Like, that shit know. wicked, man. Nah, like I'm just saying, man. I had it's, a lot of crazy ones in my it's life. Real, man. That's cool. a wicked don't get mad at me. All I'm saying is don't get mad cool, at me. Man. Don't get mad at me Burr. for passing on. Don't, you know, I'm just a messenger. Just this talk to me nice. That's all. Just talk to me nice. Right to information. That's all I'm saying because I'm just a messenger. I mean, sometimes the truth hurts. It's a hard pill to if swallow. You need relationship but, advice? Me? His DM is Talk violent. to me nice. Don't bullshit, nice. man. Talk to me nice because y'all the ones out here making yourself look right. stupid, man. You got options. You got options. You know what I'm saying? All right. And then on to that, we're going to let Excel talk about some shit he want to talk about, man. Yeah, man. Listen, man. What's um, the math? Today's math is it's 29th. So we go two for wisdom, nine for born. So you add that up, you get 11, right? So 11 is knowledge, knowledge, right? So knowledge, knowledge, you add that up, you get wisdom. So basically what wisdom born means is you, the way you act brings things into life, right? Mm. And by how you act, I know what you know. Mm. So by how you act, by how you walk, how you talk, how you just carry yourself, I can tell what you know. So... If you, how you act reflects what you know. So how you act is, is a reflect. The things you bring into your life is a reflection of how you act, right? That's what the math basically means. The things you bring into your life is a reflection of how you act. You know what I'm saying? So pretty much I can tell what you know by how you act. So Whatever you want me to think, that's what you need to act like. If you think you, if you on some God is, if you think you a God, you need to act like a God. If you a street nigga, act like a street nigga. If you a gang, if you a females, if you a hardworking woman, that's what you, because I don't judge you by the words. I judge you by how you act because that's what it is Big at facts. the end of the day. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And the universe judges you by how you act. The universe doesn't know good from bad. This is what you got to understand. The universe just gives you more of what you are. 
So if you're a piece of shit, the universe is going to give you more shitty shit. If you're a scary person, the universe is going to give you more shit to be scared of. If you're a person that handle your business, the universe is going to give you more business to handle. Talking heavy right now. So wisdom born. Wisdom. Wisdom is knowledge and action. So wisdom is whatever you know, that's what you put in action. So if you're a street guy, if you're a god, if you, that's how you act. That's how you walk around every day. You can't even shake the shit. It's just what you are, right? Sure Born means to bring things into life. So how you act will bring things into life because the universe can't differentiate good thoughts from bad thoughts. So whatever the fuck you think, that's what you get. If you think about being sick all the time, nine times out of ten, you're going to be sick. If you think about getting money or whatever, whatever you think about, I don't give a fuck what it is, man. If you think about fighting all the time, nine times out of ten, you ever seen somebody that can't stay out their own way? That's because the shit they think brings shit into life. You could give these niggas, you could give them a million dollars and they'll go, yo, yo, fam, I appreciate that you chops. I appreciate you gave me a million chops, but these 420s is wrinkled. What? In your mind, you're like, what, nigga? That's 80 fucking dollars. Nigga, what are you talking about? They fuck up a million dollars because they, they worry about the 80. Don't be that person. Cause what you what you think and how you, it's not even what you think. How you act on what you think brings that shit right, into right. real life, dog. Like James Allen said, "As a man thinketh." Right. So, so perfect yeah. example. This new podcast you see, these two guys thought, "Yo," out of all the guests they had, they thought, "Yo," if I bring on XL, I bring on Chops, this shit could be fire. Now, mind you, the fans that have watched this podcast previous. Y'all watched this shit from the beginning. So y'all seen all the guests they had on. They they thought, yo, let me bring these two guys on because these two guys, they had whatever, for whatever reason, I don't know the reason. That's their own personal. But guess what? You watching this shit in this fire, right? Because they what they thought, they brought that shit into reality. And because of what they thought, they thought on what they already knew. Shit, I know Excel. If I bring Excel on, he could talk about blah, 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 blah. If I bring on right there. But listen, if I bring on Chops on, he could talk about blah, 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 blah. And now it's a whole situation. Now this shit is. So the today's math is that. But also what I wanted to talk about is also some that kind of bugs me because it's a local artist thing. For Brockton artists, but it's a local artist thing everywhere. Yeah, I want to talk so. about artist entitlement, right? Now, number one, here's a, here's one thing. It's an industry trick when they tell you do it for the culture, do it for the look, do it for the. That's a trick. For they don't want you to. They trying to get you to not charge people or pay money, right? But here's also a thing of artist entitlement. When you come across a person that's charging money for whatever they do, that means that they put in work to charge money. Let's take myself, for example. If you hit me up and you ask me for a feature and I charge you bread, I'm not charging you for the 15, 20 minutes it takes for me to come up with a verse. I'm charging you for the 20 years I sacrificed to be able to construct bars the way I do. I'm asking you for the relationships that I broke up with, shorties that I broke up with that didn't understand that I'm trying to make it. That's a fact. I'm charging you for the nights that I ignored my kids because I had to write this fucking rhyme. I had a rhyme in my head. I woke up 3 o'clock in the morning. Now my girl's upset at me because we had an argument because I woke up at 3 o'clock in the morning because I had this rhyme in my head and I couldn't get it out. That's what I'm charging you for. The sacrifice. The sacrifice. Sure. Artist entitlement. If you're my friend, I don't give a fuck what your friend do. If your friend sell sneakers, if your friend sell clothes, if your friend sell weed, if you, you should be wanting to put okay. money in this man's pocket. <laughs> Regardless, if your friend got a podcast, if your friend play guitar, whatever he do, right? You should be wanting to put money in your friend's pocket. Absolutely. Why the fuck do you want your friend... I see a lot of times, especially with other artists, it's like, you want me to pay you for a feature, why won't you pay me? 
Because nine times out of ten, if you pay the person that's asking to be paid, he's probably going to promote it to other people. He's probably going to put it in other places where you couldn't put your music. You know what I'm saying? Like, for instance, for me, you pay me for a feature. I'm going to put your shit on Hip Hop Is Real. I'm going to put your shit on RBE. Put your shit on URL. You don't know Smack, nigga. That's what I'm charging you for. So a lot of times with artist entitlement, I feel like a lot of your artists don't get it fucked up. A lot of y'all have made y'all way. But in y'all making y'all way, y'all still have to understand that this shit is a business. It's not show friends. It's show business. Mm-hmm. Right? <laughs> <laughs> right? So... Hey yo, look. What I think is go ahead, my, go ahead, my nice. issue with Somebody the artist entitlement shit because we built on this before. I think I made a post about it before. Mm-hmm. I don't know, but um, motherfuckers take pride in shit that they haven't earned. Right. You know what I'm saying, and when you take pride in something that you haven't earned, right, you feel entitled to shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So a lot of these local artists that I see, they have this entitlement as if they earned Grammys or or or, mm-hmm. or all these accolades that say. Jay and and, and, and and all these rappers that really solidified the way and put the work in and everything like mm-hmm. that, they have this same attitude. Right. And I'm like, yo, what the fuck are you what the fuck are you so prideful nah, about? Nah, yeah, you it. might be yeah, you might be you might be talented, right? Mm-hmm. I get that. I'm not taking away from your talent. Mm-hmm. Be confident in your craft, cool. Mm-hmm. But what the fuck are you so prideful about as if you you, you know what I'm saying you accomplished all this shit? What are you Fact. taking pride in right now? Because you have this attitude that's full of pride. Like, you accomplished a whole bunch of shit that you didn't accomplish. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm going to tell you this, especially for my local artists in, in, in this hood. When you leave this hood, because I have, I've been all over the country. When you go to New York, there's a nice nigga on every fucking corner. And he's better than you. It's just a fact. There's a nigga from Brooklyn that you ain't heard of on every corner. Imagine how many corners there are in Brooklyn. There's a nigga on every corner who's fucking dead nice. In L.A., there's a nigga on every corner who's fucking dead nice. Chicago, dead nice. Right? So what the fuck do I owe you? Nothing. You got to understand, from somebody who made it, They've heard that nigga a thousand times. Right. They're looking at, yo, do you got your package together? Can I make money with you? Can I do this? Can I do that? Can I do all these other things? Because a lot of you niggas are entitled for no reason. You're entitled. You want a song from me for free so you can play it in a barbershop with your homies. You ain't about to promote the song. You ain't about to put it on Spotify. You're not about to Apple Music to shit. You're not about to do nothing. You're just about to play with your man and say, y'all got a song with XL. How does that benefit me? You got to make it nice for the guy that you're trying to get. If you want Jay to kiss on a song, you got to tell Jay to kiss your Jay to kiss. I got this money for you and I can do this. That's how niggas is going to fuck with you for real. A lot of y'all just be, I'm nice. Okay, there's nice niggas everywhere. I battle rap. For instance, let me tell you. I'm going to just give you a stat. There's 25,000, 25 to 50,000 battle rappers in the world. You hear what I said? 25 to 50. There's 5,000 battle rap leagues. How do you differentiate yourself from 25,000 to number one? You know how? The number one battle rapper in the world realizes that he's the number one battle rapper in the world. And he moves as such. Some of y'all got to realize that you're the 25,000th 25, nigga in the world. Can I just ask a question? Who's the number one battle rapper? Uh, I would was, say probably was, right now, right either Tay Rock in my brain or <laughs> Sue Surf, whatever. Just because they're the Surf most, nice. just because they're the most active, and they got the. Surf but nice. that's not my point. Especially with Brockton, we just gonna deal with Brockton. Like a lot Brockton. of y'all, heard, n- Brockton, a lot Brockton. of y'all niggas in Brockton are number two because you don't know how to be number two. A lot of y'all niggas want to be number one. Y'all I can't sit behind Excel because if I sit behind Excel, that's going to, ah, y'all can't sit behind Mark Mike Slade because if I sit behind Mark Mike Slade, that's going to fuck my, 
my nigga, you know how this shit work? If I kick the door in, guess what they're going to ask me? Except how many other niggas from Brockton are there? That's exactly what they're going to ask me. Absolutely. Absolutely. And if I say, yo, there's 12, 20, 25... Whatever I say, that's how it's going to go. But it might not even be me to kick the door. It might be Effin and Mook. It might be Peasy. It might be C's. It might be Mike Slade. It might be Mark Slade. But whatever. Thank you. Regardless of what I'm saying, it might be whoever, though. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. So at the end of the day, artist entitlement, what I, what I, what I want to say is this. For a lot of y'all artists, some of y'all have to learn how to be number two. Technically, if you want to be numbers wise as far as battle rap, I'm the number one nigga out here. But I will still hold on. You gotta beat hold on, hold on. But I will still carry crates at a nigga's show. Absolutely. That's no blabber skating. And for nigga one, yo, Excel, yo, I got a show at the motherfucking whatever. (laughs) A word, bro? Can I get in? How? Yo, bro, I got these, I got eight thousand crates of CDs. I need help. I'm in here. Cause regardless of the fact. How I, it's just like money. Somebody told me a long time ago, money don't know how it spends. So that means if you got money, whether you spend on sneakers or clothes, the money don't give a fuck. A hundred dollars is a hundred dollars. If I'm in the building, ain't nobody going to ask how I got there. You got to learn how to, you got to learn how to follow before you leave. Like Chops, like let's say if I did a show for Fabulous or Jadakiss and you carried the crates for my music to get in the show. Once you're in there and you go chop it up with Jada Kiss, you're not going to be like, nigga, how'd you get in here? You're just going to be like, oh, you in Oh, you with XL? Okay, that's you're in enough. It is better. You're in From that point on, you proceed. So artists, sometimes being humble would get you further in the door than all this artist entitlement shit that y'all be on. <laughs> sometimes that entitlement shit, you might have a nigga like a Jada Kiss or a nigga that you don't even know. Because here's what I learned from battle rap. You don't know who's watching you. I had Julio Jones run down on me one day. Real shit. No word of a lie. I was at a bar, at a battle. I went to get a drink. Nigga tapped me on my shoulder. I turned around, and I was, I'm 6'1". I was in this nigga's chest. I looked up. I wish I was dead. And he said, yo. He said, yo. (laughs) Yo, you ain't. He went just like this. I swear to God, no word of a lie. And this is a lot of rappers I come across. Styles P, Sean Price, whatever. Julio Jones went like this. Yo. You excel? I said, yeah. He said, yo, I'm a fan. You did Ah versus Loso. You, I'm Julio Jones. I said, nigga, I know who the fuck you is. You're Julio fucking Jones. You catch touchdowns every Sunday. Don't say every Sunday, but yeah, go ahead. But whatever. <laughs> you catch touchdowns. I rap once in a blue moon. Right, My right, nigga, right. you he on the TV two yeah, right, Sundays. Right, right. I mean, every other Sunday, every whatever. Other Sunday. Y'all did balling, though. But here's the thing. You never know who's watching you, dog. So they watch how you carry yourself, man. And for a lot of for a lot of artists, man, a lot of y'all blow y'all. A lot of y'all, it's not the talent that fucks y'all over. He was telling me Shorty was a fan. Um, old girl from the show back in the white joint. Topanga? Topanga. Topanga. Topanga was a fan. Topanga, nigga. To- Listen. Boy meets world, Topanga. Word. XL, I watch your shit and I think your shit is dope. First of all, I had to verify who the fuck Topanga. Shut the fuck up. Then I verified and she pulled up. I, she pulled up at the battle and she came. That's tough. And you and Chilla Jones, I love you guys. That's tough. That's dope. Listen, now if I was a dickhead, it'd be different energy. So you got you guys got to understand, artists don't. It's your attitude. Your attitude is going to get you further than your skill. That's all I want to say. Like, sometimes a lot of y'all with your attitude, it fucks y'all. You could be the nicest nigga. You could be the nicest nigga in the world. You could fucking rhyme better than Pharrell Munch, Black Thought, any of them niggas. But if nobody wants to work with you, you ain't going to get nowhere, man. I just want to say if Topanga, did you, did she look good in person? Yeah. She looked just like she do on the TV. I would in real life. Bag that shit. No Facts. comment, I'm married. Topanga's Topanga's is shit. Shout out. And the thing about no, Topanga is no comment to Listen, Topanga, married. the thing about Topanga is she walked up quoting bars. That's like, fire. yo, I fuck with you. That's you said bar. I was like, I had that's dope. Back I said, in the day, bro. excuse me. Yeah, back 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 dope, yeah word. That's shout out to Topanga, like man. Shout out to Topanga. From Boy Meets World. Shout out to her. We're gonna have Daddy of the Weeks, but we know we're all married here, so we ain't gonna do it, so we're leaving it up to our producer. Right. Mm-hmm. He's gonna post But we can leave Topanga on there. He's leave definitely gonna pick Batty of the Week. Yeah. Yeah, our producer. Shout out to our producer. Leaving that to you. Yeah, Big Rue. 
Yes, and with sir. that being said, nah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Um, um, I just saw. Uh, I just want to get into my chop it up segment. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. Um, I basically, I noticed that um, a lot of people put expectations on others how they feel like they would carry a situation Mm. and in life no matter what the situation is you need to understand that people ain't always going to react how you would react in a situation and um and to do that you kind of put like a false sense of security like i see i see so many situations where like like um for instance um i don't pzus sent a, a video to the chat and um about the shit in chicago mm-hmm. and but hold me outside the bar you. yeah so like there was like a road rage incident or whatever right no he, they wouldn't let him in the club Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I, didn't, I, I didn't really know what happened. It was like a story was baby boy in the club. He, and then security came out there trying to um, tell him to leave, and he just, just he basically said the story goes he just shot everybody who called his name out because everybody didn't know him. Yeah. yeah. Well, that shit was wild. But like the whole time while I'm watching that video, right, all I'm I can think of, comments. all I can think about is 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 how. You never know how somebody's going to react never. to a certain situation. Mm. And so, so he legit knew all them people that he shot. Yeah, that shit was wild. He shot a mother, uh, he shot a father and a daughter. And walked up Crazy. on him. Like, no problem. Head tap, everything. I was like, yo, that, sh- that, that shit was wild. Crazy. But, um, but it just made me think about, like, like, how many different situations, like, you know, like, so, like, you know, you know, Brockton, Boston, like, mm-hmm. We don't use the bitch word like at all. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Down south they use the heavy though. Down south they use the heavy, right? Call you a bitch in two seconds. So like, like up here, if you called, if you called me a bitch, like I'm instantly gonna punch you in your face. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just like natural reaction. You know what I'm saying? If I might assess the situation. And be like, well, maybe he doesn't know any better. Because, you know, you know, some certain people, they just don't know any better. So, you're like, you might kindly check them or, you know, let them know, you know, how you feel about the situation. That's just me being older. You now, know is what that I'm saying? in a playing manner or they're being serious with you? No, like, I, I, I don't care. I don't care what manner it is. Okay. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I, like, I don't, I don't, I don't play with that word. Yeah, no, nah, I don't play with that word at all. You know what I'm saying? But, like, you know, sometimes you try and give people the benefit of the doubt, right. you know, in certain situations because they might not know. You know what I'm saying? So... Um, so like, and like a dude, like dude might be like, yo, why are you bitching? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Me, that's like violation. I got to punch you in your mouth. Right. You know I'm saying that's just how I feel. Right. Mm-hmm. But then somebody else might be like, yo, like, yo, why are you punching bro? Like he mm-hmm. was just basically saying like, why are you complaining? He didn't mean it like that. You right. You know what I'm saying? But you can't tell me how how I react to disrespect mm-hmm. because you using that certain language with me is disrespectful to me. Mm-hmm. And Words. everybody, everybody um handles situations differently. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? You might say that shit to somebody else and they might just fly off the handle and end up like old boy outside the club in Chicago. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like I guarantee you, whenever they didn't let him in the club, they just thought he was gonna be a regular motherfucker. That didn't get in the club that night and he was gonna get in his car and go the fuck home. Right. You know what I'm saying? That situation went all the way left. You know what I'm saying? So I say that to say you never know how people are gonna react to disrespect. So always treat people with respect mm-hmm. because you can't expect them to treat a situation how yeah, you, you would, would treat it. Right. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah. That's a fact. And that's the thing fact. with those situations is like on the internet. Nowadays, you have the comment section where you got people who never been involved in that type of environment, and now they they feel like their opinion is of some type of value, and they commenting on what 
he should have or shouldn't have done or what was gangster on or that wasn't gangster mm -hmm. or things of that nature. Mm -hmm. And that's 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 the power of like the Joy, internet too, with brother, with, with, with nowadays films. that's right. that's yeah, that, that, that's the thing North with the internet Dakota. nowadays too. It gives it's giving people a a a platform to speak on shit as well. As like you said, like talking about, oh, I would have did this, or I would have did that. You don't know what you would do until you're in a situation. First of all, absolutely, you know what right. I'm saying. And then second of all, you get people that saying, oh, this, this, you know, they should have did this, or you know, that's mm -hmm. not gangster. Or this, and it's like you, you run their background or something. You see where they're from. It's like they're fucking square mm -hmm. from the suburbs or something like that. That never even been involved in that environment. Right. But they're over there arguing with somebody who really been involved in that shit. Mm -hmm. And and it's it's. It's just like it's crazy. It's just you got these internet gangsters, and then you got people really that really live that type of shit. Mm -hmm. You know yeah. what I mean? And that's just, that's something else that comes along with that, like that video that he posted. It's like I said the comments because I thought he was gonna touch on it, but like that's what I was talking about. Like I do read the comments because I'm like, I, it, it's it's amazing to me to see people that speak on shit that they really not a part of. Or speak on shit that they never experienced, and then being like, "I would have did X, Y, Z," right. and it's like, yeah. "Bro, you don't know what the fuck you would do to you in this situation." Yeah, bro. Even I, promise even, I promise you, you don't. I promise you, you don't. Yeah, know even the, even the, the, even to add on to what you're saying, nice, right? Like, I lived in, I moved from the East Coast to Atlanta, so in like old four five, so I dealt with the culture shock. In Atlanta, niggas will stare at you before they say what's up. Mm -hmm. So they just, and then you be like, "Yo, what's up? And then, what's up, my nigga?" <laughs> you know what I mean, right. now where I'm from, where we from, yeah. nigga stare at you. It's up. Yeah, it's right. a problem. It's a Why? We, what the fuck is you looking at? Yeah. So I had to even learn right. where I'm at. Like they not staring for that. You yeah. feel me? So, like you said, even when somebody, oh, this is what I would have did. This sometimes, nigga, you gotta learn. Like, nigga. Yeah. I'm. This is just their culture. I'm. I, where I'm from, this means mm -hmm. something different than what mm -hmm. it means here. Mm -hmm. So whenever, you, whenever you like you said in the comment section of a lot of shit, when you see some, I would have did this. Man, you talking ideals? Right. You know, you know what's shit. crazy in Houston? They'll holler at your girl while you walking with her. Facts. They do that shit in Georgia too, though. They do it in Georgia too, bro. That shit, like yo, I like I'm walking out the club one day and mm -hmm. seeing some dude. Do that with another dude walking with his chick. Yo, mm -hmm. that shit like fucked me up. Cause Fuck he me. said like some wild shit too. And I was just like, Fuck me yo, up. Yo, I'm talking to my man, I'm like, yo. He's like, nah, that's just how they do it out here. If she if she chews up, she chews up. Then she yeah, chews up. yeah, yeah. You see it happened to me when I was in um shit like that. Yeah, it happened yeah, to me when I was in New York one day. I was walking with my homeboy, by my homeboy, and his his wife was from London. She was super bad. And a dude hollered and he just kept walking. So I'm like, nigga, nigga, holler at your girl. Why you just keep walking? He's like, nigga, if she, if she chews up, nigga, she chews up. Yeah. And I was like, all right. And then sure enough, she, whatever she did, she, you know what I'm saying? She respectfully declined or whatever she did, but yeah. she came back and, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. I was in my brain, because where we from, like, that yeah. shit don't happen like that. That shit. So I just hollered at my man, like, yo, son, do you know? Yeah, that's what I say, yeah. So, oh, <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> some, so sometimes, <laughs> even in the comments, when niggas be like, I would have did this. Nah, sometimes you have to learn, bro, because where you go, I yeah. laugh, bro. I laugh. In Rome, I laugh. some like if you in LA, you can't move like a East. Some some places you can't laugh, move bro. like that. Bro, yeah. You, you, you that get shit. clipped off. No. I tell you, man, dudes, everybody. I would have did this. I would have did that. Yeah. Man, never been through none of it. Probably like, like even man, I give shut another the fuck up, man. You I give another through, example man. like the last battle I had in Cali. My man Lush, he texted everybody, "Yo, we're battling in a certain neighborhood, so don't wear these type of hats." It's real though. So I was like, all right, I'm, out. <laughs> I'm about to wear a hoodie. Mm -hmm. right. Because, now nah, I could have been on some gangster shit. Yo, I would have did it in my hood. No, yeah. nigga, I'm not. I'm in Cali, yeah. nigga. If you say don't wear, you from here. If you say don't do that, right. then that's yeah. what I will be doing. That's it. Y'all yeah. respect the code of different, different land. When you're different land, you're different. Yeah, that's what Absolutely. I mean. Absolutely. It's different. I think that's more gangster than being rowdy. Mm -hmm. Just respecting mm -hmm. the code. Oh, that's how y'all give it up? All right, this is what we doing. Yeah. You know what I mean? All right, man. Well, we up out of here, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everybody that tuned in, first time, or the motherfuckers that been listening. You know, we here, man. Enjoy the show, you feel me? Let's get it like this, man. Listen, 
A diamond is just a piece of charcoal that handles stress well. Yes, so sir. Until next time, stay focused. Tune in, man. Yeah, all ready. You heard that? Yo, <laughs> bars. Bars. Yes, a piece of uh, uh, that handles stress well. well. So y'all handle y'all stress yeah. out there, you heard? That Nike shoebox still got cash in it. Remember, I was down broke and I passed niggas. I'm on my way down to the bank now, I could laugh because I was at the bottom with a barrel with the crab niggas. But the AP on my wrist, that's why you mad, huh? You been caught in the waiting for the crash, huh? But you forgot I only got a. Not the car, talking racks on racks, big north. I hold it down for the drive, bout to tie it on my stomach. So when I reach all the time, I know real members and real niggas doing time. We don't drop down. Not over here, we only fuck them. Heard they thought that I fell off. I've been chilling, getting money. Great shot, niggas got the